Yeah, I got stuck under it. Oh! No, this is not a jump scare game because I can't play any jump scares at all. All right, pray this works, guys, pray. I hope this game is good, otherwise I'm gonna have a terrible birthday. Uh-oh. Um, sir? I don't know how to tell you this. The game's not good. <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's totally fine. Okay, uh, play. Now, you're gonna hear some stuff real quick, and then it's gonna pop into view, hopefully, because DOSBox on my machine has this thing where it has to go full screen before it actually goes windowed, which is really stupid. Uh, and I hate it. But that's how it goes if you're gonna play a game from 1996. Happy birthday, by the way! Here's the- here's your birthday- <laughs> here's your birthday game? Oh no. So bad. Oh, I hope it works. You see that, don't you? There we go. Oh, it's gonna be very loud. Please excuse. Oh. Wow. Look at them graphics! Holy shit! How does that- how does that sound? Is it loud as hell? That. Oh, and by any time I click off of it, right, it's gonna mute it, so that happens because it's old. Here we go. Harvest. Population 51. That's not even a lot of people. No, the pixelation, that's how it's supposed to look. Bitches, this is from 96. I'm too small. Don't worry, the, the game's gonna take up room. This um, pre-rendered cutscene is small because they couldn't fit it on a CD. <laughs> oh, what's that? Look at- oh my god, did we just go through a man's legs? Oh, into the hole! Gross! But, but funny. <laughs> it's still loud? Uh-oh. Here, I'll, I'll turn it down a, a tiny bit more. So, the thing about this game is it has voice acting. We're gonna need to hear it. The slaps. Look at those graphics! Just for credits! Wow. They did a lot. Holy crap. You're not gonna hear it for a minute because that's how things work around here. That's right. Ham hands? No, I'm not. <laughs> the most horrible farming game. The Chris Master, thank you for the bits. Yo, Red Supre's uh, play of this is one of my favorite Red Supre's of all time. All time. Smack Attack, thank you for 15 months. Evil J. Brian, 29 months. Dragon Master, thank you for the bits. Woo! Oh god, I gotta keep clicking off. This is gonna be so awkward. Whoa! <laughs> so loud! Why is that clock so slow? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Put a shirt on! Oh my god, I'm gonna be yelling this whole time. Man, titty! Girl, this game is already delivered! Oh, I hope you like plaid shirts, because we're gonna see a lot of those. <laughs> oh! So, this is an FMV game. It's time to regret <laughs> everything. Oh my god. So, this is Harvester. Should we look at some of the gameplay tips? It's a point and click adventure. You shut up too. The help screen can be helpful or better yet, read the manual. Bitch! It's 2020. I don't have the fucking manual. This game was made in 1996. Jeez! Eternal Traveler, thank you for 38 months. Let me know ever if I'm too loud or too quiet. Can you still hear the birds in the back? It sounds beautiful. Oh, muffins, I missed you. Oh my god, hang on. I've got 11 million windows open and it's all a pain in the ass. Here, you know what? Let me do this. This might help here. 
Um, let me let me smush. Muffins, there you are. Thank you for the prime sub. I'm so sorry. Enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Liquid Troopers. We're so glad to have you. Oh my gosh. Adam Khan, thank you for the bits. If I miss anyone while I'm concentrating during this very intense game, I'm very sorry. I will get to you. We'll, we'll take breaks and stuff. Guys, how old were you in 1996? Tell me so I can you cry about it. Too. Um... Oh my god, someone said negative five. <laughs> Does anyone know how old I was in 1996? Oh, Pug, someone said 20. My peoples is here. I was, uh... Wait, oh god, now I have to count. 16? 16. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Sebastian, thank you for 38 months in a row. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Um, the nice horse girl is to distract you from the crap that's about to happen on the screen. That's him. No doubt about it. Master has to have <laughs> Oh my god, thank you, Mad, for the bits. This is really scary. Look at the plaid. Mad, when you see more of this dude, you're gonna wish you never had. Oh man. Okay, so let's go to the next tip. You can pick your friends, and you can pick your nose, but you can't pick your friends- Are you serious? Well... <laughs> this is 1996, I guess. <laughs> Gross. Right-clicking on some objects in the inventory shows a close-up of that object. Okay, is everyone writing this down? Press ESC, which is escape to bring up the menu options. We're gonna wanna save a lot. So one thing I need you guys to remember is to yell you at me to save, too. okay? Will you do that? Like we're gonna have to save all the time. You can combine objects into new objects by clicking and dragging them onto another. That That's in the inventory. Sound levels can be adjusted in the options menu. No, we'll leave them. I'll just use Windows to do it. What doesn't fit? Huh? What the fuck? What just happened? Hello? What in the... Dude? Hello? What doesn't fit? What doesn't fit? I don't even know anymore. My Streamlabs just broke. Huh? The huh. I also had to click out what to get it. What doesn't fit? Holy shit. Hello? What the fuck? Guys? We haven't even started Shut the up. game yet, and everything just broke. <laughs> uh. Oh, fuck. What doesn't fit? Uh. God. Oh, that broke too. <laughs> Man, I love it when shit breaks. What doesn't fit? I love it. Okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, I think wh fit? whoever just bombed us with gift subs froze my X split, froze my stream deck somehow. Holy crap. Yeah, I'm gonna have to restart like fit? everything. Holy shit. I can't even get her out of this emote. I'm stuck in shocked face. <laughs> okay, we're shut up too. Oh my god. Stop breaking my shit! I'm just kidding. Oh, a little. <laughs> I know, I was big. Did you see that? Heavy Powered Hero Chow is gifted subs what to Lance fit? Cobra, Just a Mosquito, Nerds, Arts, and Games, The Louis Dragoon, Rocktron LPs, Deep Dragon, Nilla Thunder, Fukio Yuki, Joker GX, Repent MF, Red Mimicry, Low Feast, Soul Samurai, Zenoff A Girl, Stall Time Rhineback the Third. Shin Megami Miroku, DJ Problem what Sleuth, Mind fit? Spiral V, Rex Ganymede, and Sirelinks. Oh my god, that's so many! Thank you! Oh, and Tristan donated and said, Luca, remember what doesn't to fit? say. I will. Okay, we- oh, oh god, are we fixed? I don't even know anymore. Everything's broke. Thank what you for breaking fit? my stream. <laughs> Okay. Sound levels. We don't need that. We need this shit to work. 
What oh my god. Fit? The screen too dark, try adjusting the gamma. No, it looks okay. Check your photo in the inventory screen. It will get worse as you take more damage. Also, fit? if you know how to play this game, you can give me tips on how to play. But don't spoil the story. This actually has a story, and it won't make sense now, but it will what later. Doesn't fit? Look for special items that will restore your health. Oh. <sighs> because there's combat, and it sucks. What doesn't fit? We'll try to get through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the puzzles are absolute bullshit. After finding required items during the day, night fit? will be the time of mischievous adventure. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think it turns to night at first until you've done everything you what need to fit? do on day one? Maybe? Can, some, can someone... Okay, so some of this game is timed. But I think for the most part, we're okay. Ah, oh, Tristan, thank you. Lejonas, thank you for the business. This guy's got no ass on him. Worst game. Ham hands? <laughs> no, I'm not. You'll see. We'll see some stuff. Thank you, Lejonas. Bye, turret. Thank you for the tier one sub. Thank you. I hope you enjoy your emotes. Welcome to the Luca Trubas. It's we're so the glad Akria. to have you. Double click the left mouse button to exit through instantly. We'll do that. Um, I want to point out that this game was not well received because, um, it's crap. And also, for this day and age, it's going to seem, uh, very non-PC. So, keep that in mind. I didn't make the game. Don't get mad. <laughs> it's controversial, but it's one of those things where if you are a point-and-click adventure person like I am, you have to at least look that at once in your life. It's oh, it's it's made to be controversial. Everything here you'll see as we go is a parody. Wait, what did that last one say? Right click to hurt opponents. Oh my god, I don't even remember how the combat works in this. Left click on your character, press I to view inventory. You shut up too. Left click an object to grab it and right click it to put it in your inventory. All right, everyone, remind me of this, please. A penny saved is hardly worth the effort. Yeah, because you only it's have a Yakuya. fucking penny. Duh. Adam Cahan, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to Luca Troopers. We're so glad to have you. The Nasriyama, thank you for 18 months. Once I start, um, we'll take breaks to read the subs because I have to concentrate or else we're going to die. <laughs> Use the left mouse button to move your character around the screen. If you are stuck on a puzzle, talk to other characters and they will give you the clues. Ah, uh, my virtual character was shown off on Tuesday, and then we fixed her up, and now here she is. Do I, I thought that she would be a cute distraction in case the stuff you see on the screen um, bothers you, which it might, because some of it's gross. Avoid cliches like the plague. Okay. <laughs> Without spoiling anything, they put that in there on purpose because this whole thing is a cliche. VTubers read subs at the end. I'm not a VTuber. I'm just an LPR slash Twitcher that wanted an avatar. <laughs> because I don't use a webcam. Ammunition is precious. Don't waste it. That's important. You need it later. If you get stuck on a puzzle, try using items in a crazy, illogical way. Yeah. No shit. Besides, I'm not a VTuber. Like, can you imagine me on Hollow Live with all those other girls that work, like, really hard? I did get the map fixed. You should see it move a lot more now. Save your game often, especially before trying something crazy. So, when I first played this, I accidentally, like, tried to kill everybody I came across by accident because I was clicking the wrong button. <laughs> and then you get killed automatically. Holding down control plus the arrow keys allows you to attack opponents. Wait, can't you attack people without using the keyboard? I thought you could. You Okay, you guys have to tell me. Uh, how, uh, look before you leap. <sighs> okay. Uh-oh. You know what I didn't do? Hang on. Ooh. I need my bubbly. Ah. 
Okay. I need I need hydration for this. Okay, are we done with these? I am drinking lime bubbly. It's sparkling lime water. Oh no, we're back to the nose. Okay, bye. All right, so here's us. Here's our inventory screen. It's huge. But that's because you can carry a lot of things. Here's a <laughs> look at our face. <laughs> he looks like such a Namby. Okay, I'm gonna be making fun of this whole thing. So if this is your favorite game in the world. You're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Harvest Land Furniture Warehouse, 1953. I guess that's what time zone we're in, because look at these decorations. Like, this looks... This looks definitely retro to me. Examine the bed. The mattress is speckled with odd stains. Ew! Clean up... Stop chisin' on your bed! It's disgusting. Fuck... Well, I guess he's like, what, a, a teenage dude? I think he's supposed to be 18. Don't quote me on that. The record player. Paper doll by the Mills Brothers sits on the turntable. That's definitely 50s. Um. Obviously, some fat high school girl left it there. What? What does that mean? Why? What? What is a clarinet fat? Steve, do you like the fat clarinet? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. That's not nice. Okay, examine the dresser. Dresser drawer is unlocked. Oh! Ew, it looks dirty. <laughs> okay, what is this? A pen. Chew marks are visible on the end of the ballpoint pen. Let's take it. I think you can just double click the left um, mouse button to take it, because I think we just did. I'm going to need a lot of help. <laughs> examine the quarter. It's 20 cent, 25 cent piece, 1952. Yeah, I'll take that. Anything else? <gasps> what about these cool Ray-Bans? Wait, did they have Ray-Bans in the 50s? Probably not. Okay, close the, close the drawer? No, you just exit. Don't close nothing. I just tried to be tidy. But he's 18, why does he need these planes up here? 148 scale P47 Thunderbolt with a broken propeller. Why you break your own shit, Steve? By the way, we're named Steve. But... We're not supposed to know that yet, so I think I just spoiled everything. Don't worry about it. You peer through a thin layer of dust at your reflection. Boy, clean your room! Alright, fine. I don't think we have to get anything else in here. An empty trash can so clean you can eat from it. What? Wait, what? Why, why was that the cleanest thing in here? That's gross. Let me just make sure my, e my emotes are working, because I, I think... Oh, there we go. <laughs> I think we're going to need these a lot. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so let's exit. Stage left. Oh! Oh, this house doesn't look very nice. <laughs> Damn, what's happening here? So this is... Now, is it just me? Or does Steve not look like he fits in this 1953 atmosphere? <laughs> Alright, um... It's a globe. A stunning depiction of the earth made of paper mache. Um. TV? An old fashioned console television. Oh, look at this kid. Hank. Cabinet? Fine bone china gleams from the mahogany shelves. Ooh. A pendulum driven cuckoo clock with the cuckoo oddly absent. I'm gonna be looking at everything because it's a point and click adventure. So, we have to, like, check everything. He does look like Mike TV. Oh my god, look how close he's sitting. I guess... Uh-oh. Jesus. It's <laughs> <That was> loud. <laughs> that scared the shit out of me. Okay, um, let's talk. What? Uh -oh. In the doghouse, if you keep bugging me... What? Because I'm sick, and I'll tell Mom if you don't let me watch TV. What? What happened? Why did that go forward? Was that... Did, was that a glitch? I didn't touch anything. Okay, well, bye! <laughs> also, every bye looks like you're shouting. So whenever we say bye, we gotta go, bye! <laughs> uh, let's ask him some things. Are you sick? What's wrong with you? I got a headache and a stomachache. Can you then hear them? Then why are you in bed? 
because I want to watch my cowboy show. Oh. You look all right to me. I'm not faking I couldn't go to school come because I'm sick. More Daddy's like, sick in bed, too. Come on, and Mom believes me anyway. <laughs> so shut up. Uh, can you guys hear the voice all right? Did you hear what- I mean, there are subtitles, but you probably want to hear what they say, also. Okay, volume's good. Okay, Daddy? Uh... Do we want to ask this kid about something like that? Oh, gross. Your dad is asleep? He and Mom went at it last night pretty hard. What? He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. What? It was pretty bad. What? What did she... Like, you don't know. What? I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Who? Guess that's why she's grounded now. Huh. Who are you talking about? Too bad you wouldn't pay me, and I had to tell. Huh. What? What are you talking about? What girl? What? Is there another one, too? Wait till I tell. What's happening? <laughs> Wait, what happened? Mom and Dad went at it pretty hard? How do you know that? It's disgusting. Ew. Okay. What girl are you talking about? What? Please tell me it was actually a girl and I wasn't making out with my mom on the couch because that's almost how I read it at I first. I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. And now you don't remember? What? You think I'm dumb or something? No, I just can't remember anything like I said. Well, you better remember quick because the wedding's in two weeks. Wedding? What? Let me mom <laughs> so I can watch TV. <laughs> Did you see his face just then? <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, so we've just woken up here and we don't know who we are or where this is. We don't rem we don't recognize him or this house, but apparently maybe he's our brother or something. And we have a girlfriend that we're going to marry or something? Uh Okay, so we're going to uh, What are you watching on TV there? It sounds Sounds like fun. That's a weird looking television. <laughs> Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Well, sure, basically. But this is one old-fashioned clunker. Old-fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look Whoa. at the tube. Where's the remote control? Oh, look at that. What's that? <laughs> I... <laughs> that fade-out. I, I, I can't remember. Oh. What was that you said? About retro rockets? Well, no, retro. It means... It means... Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Weird. Then shut up and quit bugging me. <laughs> I'm watching my cowboy show. Okay, so... Steve... Seems to be from a different time. Because not only does he not look 1950s to me, um... He called the TV retro, but he can't remember anything, which would lead me to believe that he's from a more a more future time. By the way, don't spoil the story. Don't do it. Okay? What's this cowboy show? Is it like, um, The Lone Ranger? Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? Oh, yeah. What else? Color? On a TV? Well, I... <gasps> I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it, or I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh! Yeah, look at his face. No, I'm not. Sure. This is part of history <laughs> that made America great. Oh. And besides, blood and guts are neither. He made a pug face. Did you guys see that? <laughs> oh, Steve, you're always such a pogger. Little kids shouldn't watch violence, sir. Well, you can't stop me. So let me alone, or else. Ah, every time we see someone do a pog, we're gonna oh, the poggers! <laughs> oh my god, or else. Jaco sketching, thank you for 12 months. You got that year, but unfledged jester, 23 you months. Thank up, you so kid. much, and then unfledged jester with the bits. Thank you so much, lawless with the bits as well. Why did the haunted house just like storms? Because the rain dampened its spirits. <laughs> that was good. History master, 49 months in a row, girl. How are you doing? I hope you're doing good. Okay, so we already asked him about Cowboy Show, no? Good. Finally. Well, I'm going to kick your ass. Boy, you're going to be the first one to go. What's in here? All right, there, I guess this is a kitchen over here. Oh. 
Hi. Uh, you got there's a there's a giant baby in here. Does anyone does anyone care about that? Why is that you baby so up, big? Too. What happened to it? Well, it's like Andre the Giant as a baby. This is massive. Holy fuck. Okay, everything in here is weird. I don't like it already. <laughs> like, I get what they're going for, but doesn't everything seem like a little fucking off? Jeez, those these cookies. Who puts them on a sheet like that? You better fix that shit. Boo! History master, 49 months in a row. Are you a VTuber now? No, I just have an avatar. Takes more than that. I just don't use a webcam, so you got this instead. If you want to call it a VTuber, you can. But those folks work real hard. So I don't want to like cheapen what they do. Oh man. And Gunny Pals, thank you for six months. Uh, how do you reach these knives over here? <laughs> just just kidding. It's just a question. Also, why your fork so damn? Why is everything so big in here? Oh, look at this. The light. The last repository for a few dead bugs. Ew! You gotta clean that shit, it's gross. A wall sampler. An expertly embroidered old-fashioned wall plaque. Okay. Fireman Sparky Super Foamy Fire Extinguisher. Fun. Why is this fork so- I can't look at it. I can't look at the giant fork. Oh. Cookies are baking in the oven. Oh, I want a cookie. Can I have one of these? These you cookies are too. hot out of the oven. Technicola, thank you for eight months. Can I examine the- do I want to ex Do I want to examine the baby? I'm scared. <laughs> A newborn is sleeping soundly. Ah, okay. Well, I guess it's so she can watch him, her, while she's in here. All right, let's talk to, I guess this is our mom. Well, hello there. Whoa. Whoa. about some cookies? There's Whoa. plenty of rejects in the trash. What? Who are you? That's a fine <laughs> way to talk to your mother. She looks scary. You're my mother? You shut That's up That's right. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Well, of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. Oh. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Oh. Listen. This may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Okay. I'm serious. Okay. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. I want everyone to take a drink <laughs> or count anytime anyone says, well, you always were a kidder. Okay, we gotta keep count. That's very important in, in this game. Uh... Well, people aged faster back in the 50s, I think. Also, it like people wanted to look older faster. Ah, sorry, I was drinking. Uh, Cloud the Merc, thank you for 35 months. A technical, and thank you for eight months. Uh, okay, graduation. So there, I guess she doesn't believe us that we lost our memory. We don't know who she is. Let's ask her some things. When did I graduate? Four months ago, as if you could forget that. Oh. What college? College? A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. <laughs> and besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time going to college. What a waste! 18 years old and you're just now getting your first job. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. Oh. Well, I guess he is 18, right? Ah, oh, Grimorio, it's okay. Definitely watch the VOD. I hope it's fun. Thanks for being here. Stephanie, why is she so mad? And just who is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. I think you mean if Stephanie? If you started on her with all this amnesia poop, she'll think her fiance <laughs> is having second thoughts about the wedding. She said poop. That was funny. Smephanie, hey, we're gonna marry Smephanie? This can't be that bad. A wedding though at 18? I guess that's normal for the 50s. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of psoriasis, and uh. now this. <laughs> Two weeks before the wedding and you're backing out. Whatever will the neighbors think? Who cares? I can't marry someone I don't even know. 
Fine, have it your way, but leave me out of it. If you're going to break Stephanie's heart, you march right next door and do it yourself. And don't expect me to write you a note. Oh. Okay, uh, did we ask about fiance? Fiance? <gasps> Whoa, this is poggers! <laughs> oh, you're not having second thoughts about marrying Stephanie. Is that what this silliness is all about? Your wedding jitters. Can something like that produce amnesia? Stop this foolishness right now and count your blessings. Stephanie is great at cooking and cleaning. Oh, that's very important in the 50s, y'all. It is. What's cooking and cleaning got to do with anything? Wow. Honestly, boys this voice are so <laughs> dense. What else is there for a wife but cooking and cleaning? Yeah. You may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. Well, it's You're the saying 50s. that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Yeah. Well, you'll uh, have to ask your father about that. Oh. I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty when the time comes. Oh. We heard... We heard about your duty last night. Our little brother told us, Mom. <laughs> we heard about that. Ha <laughs> ha, duty. Uh oh. You can't know what I'm talking about. Shoot. And that's best. I went too quick. When the time comes to make a baby, uh. Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he what? can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. What? What are we talking about again? I, I need to see that again because we went too fast. Bless your innocence. But there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Tell me. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. What? You can't know what I'm talking about and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. What? What? Ma'am. <laughs> that's disgusting. Father. My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now please let me get back to my cookies. Oh. I want I want cookies. Can you mom, can I have a too. cookie, mom? 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 Mama? Ma? Ma? Mom, can I have a cookie? The bake sale was on Friday, and yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. Yeah, isn't That's it Monday? Why I'm throwing them away. Oh, and then what? cooking more to replace the ones I throw out. What? Why? Well, I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. Uh, but you expect me to? Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. Um, wait, wait. It's on Friday, but isn't it Monday now? I thought that that's what the inventory screen said. But she's throwing them out because they'll be stale before fr- What? Why are you baking them now then? What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and oh. have no family tie. Oh, that's nice. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the lodge. Tell me more about this bake sale. <laughs> Why is it so important? Bake sale. As I told you, many unfortunates who come to harvest end up needing financial help. Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the lodge. Oh. The lodge? What's that? What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. <laughs> yeah. Just the oh, her face. Harvest Yuck. And the most exclusive. What's so great about it? Hard to say since hardly anyone gets inside, but it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? What, like a lodge of masons? That kind of like a... Like one of those rotary clubs or something? Oh, I know. The guys that wear the fezes and drive around in the little cars. Is that is that it? Also, don't spoil stuff. We're figuring it out. Is that... Is that, is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> guys, I don't know what's happening. You guys can hear them fine, right? Because you're going to want to hear them. There's a lot of dialogue in the beginning of this game. I don't know, mom's telling us to join the YMCA or some shit. 
The Shriners. That's who the Fez guys are. Okay. All right. I'll look into it, I guess. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of Harvest. Wow. Just what I wanted. How, what? Tell me about Harvest, please. Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Oh. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Fine. Fine. Bye! <laughs> don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. What? You know how he gets. Who's that? I don't know. All right, fine. The fuck is Jimmy? Papers? I'll fucking... Whoever, I'll dropkick whoever Jimmy. I don't give a fuck. All right, fine. So, <laughs> we'll be the talk of 50 other people. Rick the Cyndaquil, thank you for 39 months. TJ Thriller, thank you for the host. Cloud the Merc, 35 months. Thank you. Examine the newspaper. A box full of newspapers. Oh, we can take one. Okay. All right, let's look at our inventory then. We got pan. And a quarter. And newspaper. And it's, yeah, I see here it says Monday. Ugh, and this is us. So, if you're just joining us, um, we awoke in this house in a town called Harvest, but we don't have any memories. And we don't know who we are or who these people are, but they say they're our family. Also, we're dressed a little more modern than this, uh... Then this would show. This shows like 1950s Americana style, but we look like we're from the 90s. So I don't know what's happening here. But that's what that's what we've got so far. Oh, uh, hello. Hi, hello, child. Oh, it's Jimmy. Now, is this the person they warned us about? Hey, Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember me? What the fuck? Uh, I guess not. Aren't you two? Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? What? Wait a minute. Don't you, don't you have to deliver the paper to me? What you mean? Wait, aren't you a paper boy? Why would I give you the paper? Hey, history master, can you not, like, tell me? <laughs> I, I literally said like five times don't spoil it please and then people are telling me what to do so please don't do that I will figure it out and I'm also I know the story I'm telling the story for the people that don't know the story so hang hang in there <laughs> hang in there I'm supposed to I don't remember yeah we'll try to remember will you rude how'd you expect a working Joe to make an honest living you don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. What? So what? What? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt oh. down. What the heck else am I bad. supposed to do? No, you're gonna fuck Listen, everything up start jump putting up here. that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? I got a cat here. That's Help. all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Sneakers? I'm walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Bitch, I got a sneaker right here for your face! Ugh! What? Hang on, I'm being... <laughs> I'm being accosted by a cat. <laughs> oh, he's going to jump up here and jump on my iPad and fuck everything up. There you go. Oh, no. Hi. Uh-oh. I have a... Okay. I have a cat in my lap, and I have five million windows open, and I can't see nothing. Help. Oh, God. Help. Help. Hi, buddy. Okay, I'm going to put you over here. Hi. Okay, so this crazy ass motherfucking child wants me to give him a paper. Whatever. Hottie Fruits, thank you for 24 months. You got that two year butt. Why are you laughing at him? Look at him. Bagel, you got problems. <laughs> we all do here. I know, but I can't play with one hand. Thank Sir, I, I. No, I need other stuff. Mister. <laughs> Why does Daddy let you in here? He knows I'm streaming. He's. He's fucking sabotaged the whole thing. Okay, but you have two hands, and I'm streaming. So why aren't you giving him pets? Because he branded you. Mister, do I give the better pets? Oh. Oh, no. Uh, now all of stream knows that you are a bad person to pet the cat. He likes, he prefers me. Preferences for certain things. Mister. He likes my lap, he likes your pets. That's because you got a big ace. 
<laughs> it's the size of your hips, boy. I can't like it. Anyway. Sorry, I got damn big hips. Okay, yes, I do. Whoa, that's great. Maybe we could try. What did I just say yes to? What Esther? can you give me? Oh. You know this Whaley and Principal Harold down at the school? No. Well, I found out they're messing around with each other in the broom closet. Oh. I can tell you when they meet and trade you some keys that'll let you catch them red-handed. Ew. What do you say? What? That sounds like good trade. I don't got no sneakers, though. You could watch them. I know they're pretty old and ugly and off, <laughs> but it beats underwear catalogs to all get out. Oh. Besides, maybe you could scare them into paying you or something. If you took a picture of them or something. This child. But hey, the offer's still good. Find some sneakers, and we'll talk. Aren't you three? See you later, alligator. What three-year-old tells me about underwear catalog? Okay. Let's grab paper. Here. Hey, Steve. You've been doing a swell job putting the paper out in the morning. Yeah. You just keep doing that, and we won't have any problems. That's not much to ask, is it? Uh, I guess not. Can I kill you? Oh, we have to save. How do we do it? I think we do this. Yeah, e escape. Save, ga save game. Ah! <laughs> Look at that. Okay, I gave him the papers. Papers plus... Okay. I saved it. Okay, fine. So this is our house. What is this? Examine the disc. A dayglow Lima space disc stuck on the roof. Oh, man. Can I can I punch this kid? <laughs> is that weird that that's the first place I went? Air conditioner. An army surplus air conditioner. Steel barbs range signals from the naked air. Why'd they have to use the word naked? For what? There are security bars fastened to the window with Phillips head screws. Oh. High voltage power lines bathe your home in a wholesome old fashioned electromagnetic field. You feel they're humming in your dreams. Isn't it, isn't it bad to be like directly under these things? Or is that like a conspiracy theory? I don't know for sure. Isn't, isn't that bad for your health or something? Or is that, is that false? Anyone know? I am so thirsty today. Oh my god. It is. Ah. I <laughs> my air has to be non-GMO and vegan. Thank you. All right, so how let's leave. Oh, we have a map. General store, post office, barber shop. A missile base here? In this tiny little horse town? Johnson residence. Abandoned house. Potsdam residence. Cemetery. Shady Oaks mortuary. Fire station. Yeah, police station. Yeah, Whoa, him. that scared me. Penguin Outlaw, thank you for the host. And Hemi Part Hero Chat with the bits. With games like these, always remember the continue shows rules on saving. Always save. Yes, yes. Edna's diner, TV station, and the lodges in the in the middle. Oh wait, there's also yeah, it's like a military base. What the fuck? I'm gonna start. Uh, you shut up too. I'll start at the general store. We have to look around and see everything that this town has to offer. Coffee Tanuki, thank you for nine months. Thank you. Okay. Phelps General Store. The neon letters drone relentlessly, eternally frozen at 4.05. Oh. Well, it looks, it looks all right, except for all this broken shit over here. What happened there? Tape and broken glass, obviously a professional break-in. Oh, that's not good. He's too busy working to notice you. Yum! Creamed asparagus tips, too, for 49 cent! Ah! Oh, I'll eat that. Harvest bake sale this Friday in the school gym. Man. They don't have a lot going on here if they- if all they care about is a damn bake sale. <laughs> Holy shit! This place must be boring. Okay, flyer. It's the same thing. Okay, let's go in. 
Hello. Oh, shit. God, there's a lot of shit in here. Copy machine. Free copies made here. Did they have Xerox machines in the 50s? I wasn't born. Contrary to some people's beliefs. Guys? Is that what that is? It's weird. Uh, what else can we look at? Let's look at everything, because you, you want to look at everything. Dead roaches and bits of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry- Ew! No! Gross! Don't look at that. Oh, there's a TV back here. Weren't I born in the 20s? Oh, it's so funny! No. I was born in 21. <laughs> A shoddy old TV missing the VHF knob. <laughs> Man, none of it, nobody in here gonna know what that is. Yeah, the 1820s. An empty meat box. That sounds gross. The shelf. The shelf contains a variety of odd items for sale. All right, ma'am. Can I help you, dear? Whoa. Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Maybe you need to go back to Gein Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. What? I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. Ma'am. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. I need some help. Oh, they said it. Well, we they got said drink. a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, they say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case... I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies. What? How's your father? What does that mean? Don't know. Haven't seen him. Huh? Care to buy anything today? Why do you look like Dame Judi Dench? From the Bond movies? No? That's her, right? It, M? Didn't she play M in like all of them? <laughs> Ma'am? Ma'am, why are you here? Why'd you- why are we talking about my dad's willy again? I don't know- I don't understand. Alright, anyway. Uh, yes please. Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Why do you have a rodent on your head? Point to whatever I want. I don't know. What do you have? Oh. What, are, what is this? Coffee cans. Cow is bleeding a robust coffee on these Harvest Blend coffee can labels. Cans of soup, or possibly rat poison? Ew. What's this? I can't look at the. Whoa! Is that a butt? <laughs> it's a porn mag! You shut up. Yeah! Too. I'm gonna get that. What else is here? Tape? Electrical tape. Oh, oh, wrench. You probably need that. Slightly used wrench. Can I have this used cigarette? No? Oh. Damn. Quixotic Quail, thank you for 79 months in a row. Coffee Tanuki, nine months. Thank you. Okay, can I have the porn mag dough? An adult magazine for 25 cents. <laughs> I got me 25 cents. That bitch is mine. Hell yeah. Oh, man. I must pair before I can buy anything. Okay. Okay, so, give her the quarter. It's a little laggy, which I don't like. The only thing a quarter will buy you is an adult magazine. Well, bitch, that's all I need. What the fuck else do I need in here? I, my life is made. Give me the porn. A girly magazine? <laughs> Look at her face. <laughs> I'm surprised at you. I'd expect that sort of thing from Deputy Loomis. But never from you. He's always coming in here oogling the girly magazines behind my counter. Oh. Darned if I'd sell him one, though. <laughs> I know his wife, for heaven's sakes. Look at her face. Well, will you sell me one? I <laughs> certainly will, Steve. That kind of interest is healthy for a young fellow. Oh. Stares him away from being a fireman. What? Whoa. Don't be, don't be talking shit about firemen. They do a lot. What girl, what's your problem with fireman? That's fireman phobic. I don't think I like the cut of your jib, ma'am. Alright, what is this? An adult magazine. Can I... 
Didn't it say that if you right click on things in the inventory, it would zoom them in? Of course that don't work for the damn magazine though. What the fuck? Ah! Well, how do I look at? Well, fine, you guys, fine. We got a girly magazine. Can I ask her about anything you else? Steve. Care to buy anything today? No. Okay, dear. You check back if you decide there's anything you want. I'll be happy to help you. Oh. Come back soon. I thought she was gonna, like, be able to tell us about the town and stuff, but it does look like it. Great. Okay. So let's yeah. go somewhere else. That's him. No doubt about it. Mr. <gasps> has to have beautiful nipples. Thank you, Mad, for the bits. Oh. The faces already scared me. Girl, you haven't seen nothing. Also, I may have to recalibrate my thing. Let's see if it still works. I think it's still working. A little bit. One second. You're going to see her freeze a minute. That's just technology. Okay. <laughs> we back. Um... The post office. That is probably a place we could get information. Let's go there. <gasps> Guys. 41% off packing peanuts. Yeah. What's this? That's nothing. There's nothing to look at out here? Nothing? What's this? A cup. A crushed paper cup with smudged lipstick on it. Why is there like parade music happening in the background? It's weird. Bye, Victor. What the? Hello. Oh, it's... It's post office. It's fine. Map. A zip code map with harvest dead center. Okay. Hello. These mailboxes seem hardly used. What? What? A, bl <laughs> A blind woman is trying to read her mail? <laughs> what? What the f- Why? What is this? The f uh, well, have fun with that. What in the hell? Okay. Uh. Flyer. Bake sale, bake sale. Okay. Three clocks, three times. But you can't know which one is which. They don't have any labels. That's fine. Oh my god, my phone it won't shut up today. I'm yes. Just mute it. Whoa. I need some help, Mr. Postmaster Boyle. Oh. What can I do for you today? Ah, he's a nice man. Hello. Um, I heard that you had something I wanted. Like they told me that I needed to join the lodge. Do you have the application for that? Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. Oh. Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Oh. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. Oh. Uh, can I get one at the lodge instead? Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. Oh. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. Well, it's then... very important that I get in quickly. That's what they all well, say. Well, then your system Post sucks. Mr. Boyle, I'll just That's die what... if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. Bye! Next time you post, <laughs> don't forget the zip code. I'll zip code you right in the face, sir. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither oh. rain nor sleet nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. I guess he's not talking to us anymore. Bye. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. I'll fucking forget your damn motherfuck zip code. All right, fine. Let's just keep looking. Let's find out everything. Okay. So there's our house. Oh, the barber shop. Maybe we could get a slick haircut. Pastorelli's barber shop. There's nothing out here. Oh! What the? Is that a sheep? What is that? <laughs> Yo, don't you forget the zip code, too. bitches. Oh man, what's going on in here? 
A fancy barber's pole secured to the wall with straight slot screws. It's very specific. <laughs> Why? Oh, there's a... It's sheeping. It's doing a sheep noise. Except for its occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. What? Oh, it sounds alive. What is this? An unfortunate extraterrestrial who journeyed hundreds of light years to wind up mounted on a barber's wall. Shit's weird. It's alien. Okay. There's a, a naked torso. Made of solidified mousse and sticky hairspray, this lovely mannequin is a work of art. Wow. It takes a true sportsman to hunt down those dangerous cows. The dangling television is sure to cause neck strain at this angle. Yeah, it's like way up there. What the? It's a picture of Mr. Pastorelli as a young buck. What, like a like a deer? Oh, Top Gun! Colonel Buster Monroe flipping the bird from his B-17 cockpit. Wow, can I get a haircut? Mr. Pastorelli doesn't respond, not understanding English. Oh. Oops. Well, I walked in here, surely he knows what I want? No? Oh. Okay. Hello, Mr. Swell. Howdy, ah! Steve. Yeah. Howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. What? Don't you pull my old leg now. He scared me. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk your father into the Why you look like that? He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. <laughs> that face! It's warm in the summer, <laughs> cool in the winter. It's awful! It out the sheep. <laughs> Pastor Ray ought to look into some, but I Whoa. can't get him to understand a word I say. I can't make the faces with this, be with this avatar. <laughs> it doesn't work. Is he from UHF? Maybe. I don't know. Aluminum siding? Sir, what the fuck are you talking to me about? Steve, aluminum siding can't get a fair shake no more. What? Started when those firemen came to harvest, filling people's heads with newfangled notions like color coordination and interior design. <gasps> Hi, Bob! You can paint aluminum, you know, if what? you want to. But even so, I can't seem to move it anymore. Not even to a rube like Pastorelli. Uh, isn't he right there? Thank God for the plumbing. That's not nice. Don't say that. He's sitting right there, bitch. Pastor Relly's a rube from way back. Oh. Ask Clem Parsons how we followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. Alarm system? For what? What, you gonna get your sheep stolen? Well, I seen the, the math works great. The siding game. I think it looks so a lot I better. What do you think? Course and learned how to be a plumber. Now, there's a business that never lets up. Uh, You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> this is a horror game, but it starts out a little deceptive. So we're going to spend a lot of time first getting to know the town and the people that are here. And everything's going to seem weird and off. And then the horror shit starts. So just hang on to something. Also, look at that face and tell me right now that we're already in the horror, guys. God. Nice to see you again, Steve. I cannot say the same. All right. I'm sorry, but you scary. Hello there, youngster. Oh. Say them aliens I was telling you about. What's well, up, Cletus? came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. Oh. How come I never see none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wild. <laughs> You don't cross the intergalactic <laughs> boy without learning a trick or two. You know what Pastorelli did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. I beg your pardon? You don't know how to rig it, so now what? it's all awry. Oh. I know it, it's not, it's creepy unsettling. I don't know, the last part of it is like way nasty. I don't, I don't like it. This game's fairly long. If you play it like an adventure game, which you're supposed to, it can take some time. Pole? 
What are we talking about again? Why, that barber's pole of his is his pride and joy. Oh. Brought it all the way over oh. from Italy. Right oh, look at that. Special like. Nice. Wait. It ain't nothing but colored glass with some bugs. <laughs> These movies cut and off so abruptly. <laughs> so off. fucked up. Installed that alarm system just to protect it. Oh, who in tarnation would want to steal a worthless piece of junk like that? I, I don't know. Oh. Maybe them aliens, Clem. What? Oh, Pete, don't be ignorant. These faces are the scariest thing of all. <laughs> big for no colored glass. You think if they can build spaceships, they can't make a bad gum barbecue? So pole? it's something. Crazy. Hang on a minute, you'll see. About science. Oh my god, we we do have to go through all these dialogues. We gotta figure out what the fuck is going on here. Because remember, we don't know who we are either. We woke up in this damn town with amnesia. We don't know any of these people or why we're here. We don't even know who we are. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Oh. Dang idiot cross-wired it to the fire sprinkler. Oh. So now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Oh. Tarnation. <laughs> Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop. Tarnation. Dang. <laughs> hey, Ma. Get off the dang roof. What VTuber software am I using? I am using VTube Studio. Okay, tell me tell me about tell me about the aliens, Cletus. Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What? What you gotta remember is your average alien is smarter than your average human. What? So you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you wanna bag one. You What? Hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to Quail. What? You think you what? can get one of those at a swap meet? I was... That scared me. I was going to ask if that was a euphemism. Lead to fool their sensing machines. Jesus. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the <laughs> nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around. Now. 1996, everyone. Tiger field, Clem? This wait was cutting edge technology. <laughs> All they do, their crop doodles with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know? This nothing? guy is out here Besides, fucking no aliens. Place to put the All right. Blind out in the field. Now you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. Lay cross the boy. You shut up too. What is he what still talking? Beyond. All Yo! The time not knowing that what awaits him is buckshot. I am getting old over here. Thank you. God. Bell Lover, thank you for 24 months. You got that two year butt. Cryothorn, thank you for the host. Forgotten Rescuant, thank you so much for eight months. Oh, what were we talking about again? Did we ask him about Pastorelli? The Pastorelli is a funny sort. Foreigner, don't you know? Uh? He cuts hair pretty good, but he don't know spit about nothing else. Oh. We just asked him to hook up an alarm system if you need convincing. Well, surely he's not an Oxford educated man like yourself. Cletus. Okay. We already asked about the alarm system, did we not? You shut up too. Oh my god. I I'm afraid. I'm afraid to ask about it. I don't want to. Bye! Anytime, Steve. No, not anytime. In fact, never. Okay, we're getting out of here. I don't like this place. This place is weird. Can I send fan art? Of course! I have a Twitter if you'd like. Thank you. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. I know we can type stuff in other. I just don't know what to ask. I'll figure it out once I get the feel for these folks. It's the Akuya. Capybara Cavi, thank you for 21 months. And Meg is lame. Thank you for subscribing with Prime. Welcome to Luca Trubas. We're so glad to have you. Bye bye. <laughs> sheep? You want me to go in there and ask them about sheep? Okay. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm taking a chance. Surely it, it won't fuck up. Right? Sir? I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. Oh. Other. Okay. Sheep. What you do with it? Dang it for folly, Steve. Um, what would we want to ask him about? Penis! Dang it for folly, Steve. Sir. Don't play games with me. I know you know what I'm talking about. All right, I'm on a mission now. I'm gonna ask every single person in here about penis. That's you right. Shut bye. up too. Anytime, Steve. 
I... I'm gonna regret clicking on this one. Think about taking but... some of that siding off my hands, son. No. I'll cut you a nice price on it. Oh no, look, it's a VTuber. What, just because I have an avatar? Ah, uh, y'all are silly. Hello. What do you know about penis? Stop running around now. <laughs> he didn't like that. I wonder why. Oh no, bye. Nice to see you again, Steve. Well, this guy won't talk to us, so we can't we can't ask him about about pain. Have you heard about our Lord and Savior, Penis? It's really great. Dust Grasser, thank you for sixty three months. How you doing, brother ducks? All right, where haven't we gone? Everywhere, pretty much. Um, um, uh, Miss, I'm afraid to go here. Should we? I guess we gotta look at everything. You should say firemen to people. Why? Does that really work? Did I explain the choice to be a VTuber? Yes, I did. In a stream that you clearly weren't at. <laughs> I don't have a webcam. I don't want to use a webcam. So, I had this made instead. That's literally all it is. I don't think it has to be much more complicated than that. That's right. Um. What? Why is there a missile base in this farm town? Oh, we're going to find out, I guess. People have- what the fuck? Did you see that? Look at that plane! Oh man. Sir? You shut up too. Are you doing push-ups? What is it? Nuclear missiles? What the fuck? This base is well stocked with missiles. What in the shit? Oh, I should say- Okay, thank you. Most of guy. All right, let's do, um, missiles. Is he doing push-ups or is he doing some yoga thing? These aircraft appear to be well-maintained. Hi. Oddly enough, this guard booth is the only building on the base. Ham hands? What the? No, I'm not. Hemi powered here, child. Thank you for the bits. Carolina, thank you for 11 months. That's so nice. Hello. Oh, who goes there? Whoa. Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Colonel Clink. All oh, right. The Section 21. What? Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. Oh. That makes two of us. Yeah, don't do that. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Fit? Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. Oh. But at least you're not an alien. Uh, I don't think so. You see their ships every now and then. Oh. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. That's the second Who person that's mentioned aliens. Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. Uh. These are nuclear missiles? <gasps> Whoa, poggers! You're damn right they are. <laughs> every one of them ready to rain death on the Ruskies. Oh. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo! price of vodka goes through the roof along with the vodka well I suppose you have you know safeguards against accidents safeguards don't be such a weak sister there are no safeguards this is the 50s oh then you have sole control of the uh, missiles that's right been uh. in charge here since WW2. <clears throat> I got my lower torso shot off. Oh, he actually doesn't have any legs. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. Oh my god. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. <laughs> they owed me. <laughs> I didn't mean to laugh they at that. that. After the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England, trailing my intestines behind me. Oh. I was too emotionally <laughs> unstable to continue in the military. <laughs> That's why they gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. <laughs> this is so weird. What the fuck? Do you think? Oh, this guy definitely wants to talk about his penis though, right? Guys? No? I don't follow. Oh. Ne ne never mind. No, no, you're doing good. We're, you're doing great. Don't worry about it. <laughs> History Master, thank you for gifting us up to Skull Hattie. Thank you. The button? Where, where are we talking about? Where? You shut up too. Where is the button? 
Why are you asking about the button, son? I'm just a little nervous about it. Oh, Potter. I mean, suppose an accident happened. His face. Don't get your panties in a bunch, mister. The button is perfectly safe. I keep it on my what? person all the time. What? No commie bastard is getting his mitts on this button. No siree, Bob. No one initiates a nuclear holocaust in Harvest except me. Um. Now doesn't that make you feel better? Wait. Is he lifting himself up off the ground with his arms and then the button's right there beneath him so if he lowers his arms? H ham hands? Is that- No, I'm not! Is that it? Uh-oh. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Nuclear holocaust? Son, when you've had your body shot in half, you know a thing or two about fear. Oh. You learn that when something actually happens, it's never as bad as you imagine it would be. Oh, sure, I can't write my name in the snow. <laughs> I had to shell out a few simoleons for portable IV drips, colostomy bags, and so on. But the pain is hardly what I'd call constant. Oh. I have my good days when I pass out completely. Um. We're never asked to endure more than we're capable of handling, mister. Folks would die in a nuclear holocaust but nobody would die who wasn't going to die Hi, anyway sooner or later. What? And the rest of us? Why we'd take a little R&R &R at the old radiation bunker, climb out in you two shut weeks, up too. and go back to work refreshed and ready to contribute as productive members of society again. Uh... Makes me wonder why I don't just push the button and take me a nice vacation. What? Can you give me any reason why I shouldn't? Blast away! <laughs> oh man, Pickletron, thank you for the bitch. Chilled like ice, 79 months in a row, hype and train. Uh, Amber and Chilled, we're on a journey right now. If you're just joining us, our name is Steve. We have woken up in this fucking weird place. We don't know why we're here, who we are, or who these people are. They seem to think we live here and they want us to join the lodge, which is like the like masonry big big top guy group of this place. And we've stumbled across this guy who has a button to nuclear missiles and I think we need to talk him out of the rafters right now. You're right, soldier. I'm sorry. What? Sometimes the intense pain clouds my mind. Okay. The kookaburros start whispering to me about the Pretty mangoes in the high trees. What? And I know they can see me. They see all of us. Can't you hear them? Chattering with the llamas behind our backs? What? They want our cornflakes, but they won't take the milk! What? This dude's crazy! <laughs> oh, cornflakes! Have you lost your mind? You think you can toy with me just because I have no lower torso, you damn kid, you? What? Or maybe you're one of those Tommy bastards. No, I was just asking about cornflakes, sir. Cornflakes. How did we get here? Lower torso. Tell me you about say it. say before you came to harvest, your lower torso was shot off in the war? That's right. I was behind enemy lines. The night was dark, the rain wet, the plastic I was supposed to rig the bridge with precariously sandwiched between my knees oh. as I crawled in the muddy mud. Went off. I didn't see the Jerry taking aim at me with his machine gun until half of me was flying through the air. With a quick spray of bullets in a straight line, he'd shot my body clean in two. My lower body landed at that Jerry's feet. I can still hear him. Laughing as I started crawling in the general direction of England. Oh. Calling behind me in broken English. My friend, where is your legs? <laughs> what have we here? Some legs? <laughs> hey, did they never lose some legs? <laughs> I'll never forget looking back over my shoulder. I'm sorry. Doing the can -can I'm sorry. With my legs. <laughs> A few weeks later, with only my compass and a pair of nylons, I made it back to safety. 
Now the Krauts are our friends and the Kami bastards are our enemies. Oh, is the chat missing? But even oh. so, there's at least one crowd out there. How did that they happen? I'll never invite over to Sunday dinner. Everything broke before. Hang on, I'll fix it. You won't hear the thing for a minute. I'm sorry, I didn't... Why didn't you guys say something earlier? Chat, hello? Hello, chat. Hello. There it is. Was it not showing up? That's really strange. Guys, I'm sorry. It's bad that I laughed at that. I didn't mean to, but it was fucking funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, where? What were we talking about again? Harvest. Tell me about. Tell me about the town. Harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values. Oh. But that lodge. Well, it makes me suspicious, don't mind Aww, saying. Aw, McLeod, I'm sorry. They've got their fingers into everything around here. Oh. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. Boy, he doesn't like commies at all. He thinks the lodge has something to do with the communists. I'll be sure to stay away from there, then. You read me wrong, mister. Do I? I think you should join the lodge, infiltrate it. Oh. And report back on any red sympathizers. Okay. Your report could affect my decision on what I've got to do. Okay. I'll do it. Do I want to ask about this? Can I save? Remember, duck and cover. Oh, every time. Hang on. Are there like, are there like, um, this guy seems like the kind of guy who would kill me. <laughs> Let's save it real quick. Oh, guys, I'm sorry. Where are your legs? Oh, no. <laughs> no one saw that. Ah, chat is back. We love to- I don't know how it broke. I swear to God, everything broke at once before. I need someone to give me, like, a major tutorial on how to use OBS because I'm having the worst problems with it. Hello? Hold. Who goes there? It's the Akuya. It's just me, Steve. <laughs> what do you want? Did the llamas send you? Yes, the llamas. It's Biakia. <laughs> she can ages. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to Look at You. We're so glad to have you. No, the llamas, sir. Oh uh, yeah, they sent me. I'm friends with them. I knew it. What? They won't leave me alone. Them and the kookaburras. Nine. Whoa. Nine! Whoa. What the? Oh shit! Yeah! Light it up! What the? <laughs> oh, well, worth it. That that was that was worth everything. Ah, <sighs> that was great. Maybe we should see how many of those we can get. That. That was amazing. All right, I'm leaving. I don't need to talk to you no more. Jesus, okay. Uh, my house. Maybe, maybe there's something else to, the kid's gone. Yeah, that's him. No doubt about it. Master oh. has to have beautiful nipples. Mad, thank you for the bits. Oh my God, they killed Steve. I think Steve's gonna get killed a lot in here, mom. I told you I'm you busy, up, Steve. Oh. Why don't you talk to Hank, or go next door and visit Stephanie, or go get an early start on your new job. Damn, she don't want to talk to me none. My mom can't stand me. Shut Hank, up. that kid over by the television? Your little brother is homesick from school today, and I won't have you scaring him with this amnesia poop. <laughs> is he really sick? Look at that show he's watching. Wouldn't you say he's sick? <laughs> I'd make him stop, but oh, I'm so busy baking cookies for the Harvest PTA charity bake sale. It's on Friday, you know. I hope you're still planning on going. I don't know. I, I need to think. Hey, Mom, I blew up the town. He's skipping out of a charity affair. What's gotten into you? Uh. I don't know, damn it. That's what I'm telling you. <laughs> don't you dare use that language around me. You're lucky your father didn't hear you. Or Stephanie, for that matter. <gasps> you think she'd oh, no. knowing her fiancé was a gutter mouth. I also launched some nuclear missiles, but I guess nobody care about that. Mom! Mom, you bitch! Can we- can we- Mom! 
I'm a young, growing boy. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation now Whoa. that your father is out of action? Whoa! <laughs> Ew! Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Maybe later, dear. Oh. Right now I have housework to do. So you can watch <laughs> if you want. Pod. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. Holy shit. You know shit. how he gets. Oh, gross. Okay. <laughs> Doom degree, thank you for two months in a row. So this isn't a farming game. No, it totally is. Sherry Moon, thank you for 57 months. Meg is lame with the bits, thank you. Uh, isn't there a scene that's supposed to happen here with the baby? Or do I have to go do something else before that happens? I thought that there was a scene with the baby that happens here. Can I not get it yet? I told you I'm busy, Steve. Yeah. How about my job? That's right, a job. Your father has everything set up at the meat plant. After your honeymoon with Stephanie, you'll start out as a butcher in the slaughterhouse just like <sighs> anybody else. I was drinking. Don't expect any favors just because you're the boss's son. Oh. I guess our father works in a slaughterhouse. Ew. Work at a slaughterhouse? My memory may be shaky, <laughs> Ooh, but I pug. do know I don't want to spend my life as a butcher. Steve's pogging. You'll get used to it, Steve. Sooner or later, you'll have to. I mean, I would... like a threat. Oh. Just a fact. Harvest is a small town. And if you want to be with Stephanie, you'll have to get your hands dirty. Hi, gamers! Jobs are scarce, so it's either work for your father, or join the lodge if you can. Well, I don't want to cut up animals, so I guess I'm going to join this damn lodge. What lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. Oh. It's just the finest place in Harvest. Why? And the most exclusive. Why? What's so great about oh, it? Oh, do they got a soda machine? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. I think we already talked but about it this. it wouldn't be so exclusive if it oh. wasn't just wonderful. You know what would make it the best? Just like if they had dishwasher with that, what's that? Dry process, <sighs> uh, uh, I've never used one, but I know I want it. What's that space ice cream called? Is it Dippin' Dots? Oh, if they have a Dippin' Dots machine, I am in. I want Dippin' Dots so bad, but they don't have it around here. Okay. Don't be so hasty, Steve. I think you'll find Harvest is a pretty dull place without the lodge. Well, it's you like the biggest like place here. Director. Don't be silly. I just want what's best for you. Oh, uh, I want Fruitopia too. I want Dippin' Dots and a fruit smoothie. Um, and that's what I want for dinner. Bye, Mom. Don't forget to put the papers wait, out for Jimmy. So you know how he gets. Wait, she's supposed to tell me about somebody here, and then we have a scene with the baby. Am I missing the dialogue for that, or do I have to come back and do that? Let's leave and then come back after we've done some things and see if we can get it. All right, what's up, bitch? Bye. All right. Ask about sister? Oh, was that there and I missed it? Oh, guys, I'm sorry. There, there's more than one baby scene. And they're, I'm going to warn you guys now, the baby scenes are gross. So hang on to something. Hang on to your butt, buddy. Mom, about that offer of sex earlier. I told you I'm busy. Oh. Where do we ask about sister? It just says Hank. Oh, we have to- Really? Sister? Oh! oh. You'll wake her. I just put her down to sleep. Oh, there she is. If she wakes up, she'll what just want to eat again. Ew! Darn it, I'm busy. And if you think I'm going to play along with this nonsense, you're crazier than Sparky down at the firehouse. Fine. Maybe I am crazy. I can't rule that out. Why can't you just help me a little? Is that too much to ask? Now you've done it. <gasps> Are you happy? Oh no! Poor thing. The baby. There, there. Did your brother the scare you? The baby woke up. Let me see. <gasps> Ew! <laughs> Yuck! Darn that wasp woman. She's a monster. That's uh, what she it's is. So <laughs> the effects are so bad. <laughs> she slapped that baby in the face. I would have done the same. Fuck that. No. If there's like spiders and wasps around here, uh-uh. I'm slapping that shit. That's gross. What did she say? Wasp woman? What the hell? Is that like a new Justice League member? Wasp woman? 
Tetsuya Crumb is going to hear about this. I want you to go to her house right now and give her a piece of my <laughs> that mind. That spider looked like it was made in MS lives. Paint. <laughs> Honestly, you can't miss a house covered with paper nests. Aw, oh, you guys weren't See, scared by that, were you? Her own beeswax or oh, man, if you were, you're in for some PTA shit here. Or the lodge. Oh, shit, the PTA. Let's get the mop. Oh, look, this might be a parody, but... You don't want to get Karens mad at you. We all know what happens then. What's the PTA got to do with anything? Show some respect, Steve. That the is PTA the baby I threw in a volcano. Yes. We run the charity bake sale, the annual blood drive, and by gosh, we even have ties to the lodge. Oh. Oh my god, we've got all this shit to talk about now. So the PTA, like, runs everything on the Karen side? That's what she just said, basically. Ah, oh, the charity bake sale. Everyone's been talking about this. What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. That me? Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? Oh, we already you talked have to about pay this. attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the lodge. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Tell two genders: the sale. lodge and the PTA. Why is it so important? <laughs> As I told you, many unfortunates who come to harvest end up needing financial help. No, Why they talk about the lodge problem? a lot. It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken Gamers, care of. Gamers, thank you for the bits earlier. It's the will of the lodge. The will. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. But there was other stuff there. Now, how do I get back there? Because we already talked about this. I want to talk about the blood drive. Can we just ask her about that? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Wait a minute, but you brought that up. Wait, so we can't... Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Aw, oh, damn it. I remember Blood Drive, but she doesn't want to talk about it. She also mentioned Sparky. Who's Sparky? Is that like Fireman's Dog? Who's Sparky? Who cares about that prancing, fire hydrant squatting sissy boy right now? Whoa. Your sister's eating a tarantula and you're still fooling around. Ma'am, that's no yep, way to talk about sister. a dog. Enough. Go bother Hank or Stephanie, why don't you? I'm trying to bake cookies. Mom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay? I want to hear about the blood drive. Because they clearly said something about that. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Oh, you can't, huh? How do, how do I get back to it? So, having the space didn't work. And then having one word didn't work either. And I also just tried the word blood and that didn't work. Ma'am, you're the one that slapped the baby. It wasn't me. Annual blood drive? I think you have to be specific. Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Nope. I tried only a blood and that didn't work. Aw, oh, piss. Yeah, we did get to show up here. Let me do the sister thing. We might, we might see... Well, hang on. Can I ask about the PTA? What's the PTA got oh, to well, do that with works. anything? Show some respect. Here we go. Annual blood drive. Isn't that what I... Isn't that what I wrote? All right, well... Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. What? Donations it's are only like 50 people still. here. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. <laughs> Until it <Excuse> hurts. Me. <laughs> Even Hank will have to donate. Oh. Of course, lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Ew. Hey, either way, <clears throat> no one's sticking me with a needle. I don't want to do. Ah, oh, thank you, Buff. Needles. Thank you. Ew. No. What are they planning on? I don't want to be here when it happens. All right, bye. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. <clears throat> you know how he gets. <laughs> <laughs> Those fucking faces. I can't even. Okay. What okay, so fit? clearly shit is not right in this town. <laughs> clearly. Elvin Dovkin has gifted a sub to Sterl Silver. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. Okay, so we have to keep looking around. Yeah, I don't want to know what they do if they don't use needles. Oh, Potsdam. Okay, let's let's go to these residential houses too. Oh, well, your house is a little dirty, but it's okay. Doesn't everything seem a little bit weird? Like just a little bit off enough to like there's no bushes. It's all very bare bones and stuff. The garage needs a new paint job. Okay. It's too high to look into. The 
Glass is so clear, the reflection makes it difficult to see. All right. Uh, oh, what's up, big boy? Hello, Mr. Potsdam. Well, first, let me look around. What the? What's that music? What, are the aliens here? What the? What the hell? <laughs> Weird. A funerary urn is the cabinet's sole occupant. What is this a picture of? The man of the house squeezing his meat. You don't say. Okay. <laughs> All right. The upholstery is stained after years of profuse sweating. Ew! No! The empty shelves are a testament to the Potsdam's household. Rigorous intellectual standards. Ah! Oh, they called him stupid. Hello, sir. Hang on, I'll get to you. A giant mutant asparagus? Inexplicably robust, given the fact that it's encased in red concrete. What the? Hi! Mr. Potsdam. There he is, oh. my future son-in-law. <laughs> and how's he doing today? What Look brings at him. him to the Potsdam household? Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh. Oh, this is where Smephany lives. I <laughs> Look, he's so happy. Pog. I've lost my memory. <laughs> what a card. <laughs> Would I kid about something like that? Why won't you believe me? Well, you always were a kid, uh, Steve. Drink! Your mother just telephoned us about your lady's shenanigans. <sighs> Isn't that right, Mrs. Potsdam? Sure did, Mr. Potsdam. Whoa. You little rascal. What the fuck? Imagination's a Where swell she? thing to have in small amounts. Man needs to keep his feet on the ground, especially if he's getting married. <laughs> Tell me, is your father feeling better? Is he going back to the slaughterhouse anytime soon? I don't know. We haven't seen him. It's like behind a door. We actually didn't try the door. We probably should go do that. This is sick. I'm supposed to marry this Stephanie and I don't even know who she is. Now look, Steve. The oh. joke is all well and good. <laughs> but don't go scaring me like that. I'm not joking. Now look. A commitment is a commitment. You're going to marry my daughter. We'll be one happy family. And your dad's going to give me all the meat I want. What? Right? Right. Is that a euphemism? I think it was. Do I dare ask him about meat? Uh, why is Stephanie grounded? What happened? Well, don't look at me. Mrs. Potsdam wants Stephanie to study hard for her final. Hi, Kenton. If it was up to me, you could go straight upstairs, but you know, <laughs> the little woman. You'll have to ask her permission to see Stephanie. Okay. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Not with the meat at stake. Oh, absolutely not. You will remind your dad about the meat. Won't you? Yeah, I guess. I, I suppose. Zombie Gamer, thank you for the bits. Mowage. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor. Oh. Since I'm not a member of the lodge. That seems shitty. <laughs> Whoa! Mr. Moynihan has given his okay. And your father is going to cater the affair <laughs> with plenty of meat. I think he likes meat. I don't know. Zero Ninja with the bits. How about playing Outlast for Halloween? I'm playing this for Halloween, friends. That's right. Oh, there. he wants to talk about the lodge, too. Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. <laughs> oh. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do with. Wow. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. I tried They're to do that. They're always looking for new blood. All right. Uh, Mowage, we already did that. Stephanie, oh, we got to ask oh, about. That tastes awful. What? Oh, my God. Dad's meat just donated and says, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my god. Meat. Meat is the foundation of any decent society. 
Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. Uh, and anyone who says otherwise no. is a commie. Oh. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. What the? <sighs> kind of makes up for not getting into the line. What's that ocean sound in the background too? Do you guys hear that? It's loud as balls. What, do you got a fan on in here? All right. Let oh. Now it's gone? No, it's coming back. It's weird. All right, hey. Stop mumbling, Steve. Oh. I can't understand you at all. How about penis? Do you, you want to talk to me about penis? Stop mumbling, oh. Steve. I can't understand you at all. Fine. Bye! Oh, wait. Did I talk to him about father? If it isn't my favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? I already said fuck it and all oh, damn it. Can I ask him about father? I haven't seen my father. Ah, oh, there we go. He's locked in a room. Oh. He's not going to die, is he? Like I said, I don't know. That woman, mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello. And tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. Okay. And also. Did you remind him about the meat? Of course. Especially about the meat. Ah, uh, I no, gotta hydrate. Fine. <clears throat> if I see him. You should be more concerned. Ah, if he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? Um. I guess sir? You take over. There's more to life right? than meat, sir. Alright, I think we talked about all that. Bye. Hello? Oh, hello. God, j d this kitchen is enormous. Zero Ninja with the bid, something tells me this guy loves meat. Yes. Hello, Steve. What? Have you flossed today? No. Wait. Isn't that, yeah, it says right there. Isn't that our mom with a different wig on? <laughs> what the fuck? What, is there just one lady here? What the hell? Honestly, you men can insult a woman without even knowing you've done it. Oops. What a horrible thing to say. <laughs> Sorry. You're both standing around baking cookies. Same Wait, kind of dress. The ocean Same sound cold. is in here too. So bizarre. Are we on a There's ship? There's nothing bizarre about baking cookies. What's going on? The Harvest Charity Bake Sale is Friday, you know. And by gosh, Mrs. Marvin Potsdam Jr. can be counted on to do her share. So she's baking cookies too. Okay. Just because I'm doing housework doesn't mean I have to be a drudge. It's a wife's duty to look good for her husband at all times. Oh. What's wrong with wearing pearls, for heaven's sake? Oh. Nothing, but you look like June Cleaver. Poor John, Some I don't know. Some kind of it. sitcom mom. <laughs> sitcom? Jeez, you know, a situation comedy. The weird part is, I can't remember how I know that. I'm much too busy with housework to watch TV. Maybe Mr. Potsdam would know. About sitcoms. Stephanie doesn't watch TV, though. She's grounded. Oh. Yo, why, why is Mr. Potsdam a thing? You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. Oh. He has a new application in, though. So keep your fingers crossed. Well, I can't believe they reject the lodge. Him. You and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love rather than over at Moynihan's place. Okay. <clears throat> Mr. Moynihan. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the lodge. Oh. But the order keeps that kind of thing Shut secret. Shut up. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his lodge application, but so far... Well, I can't believe Mr. Potsdam failed. I can has me out. Thank you for four months in a row. All right, you tell me about what you know about the lodge. What can you tell me about Everyone's the lodge? Everyone's telling me about this lodge. Just that they're exclusive. Hi, Kino. This is new. It's a new you avatar. You want to pick up a lodge like application it? at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at arms? Isn't that a thought? You shut up, too. Forget Mr. Potsdam. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. My, 
Wouldn't that be lovely? I guess. It must be a nice place. A wedding. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks, Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. So uh, what? Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. Can't we just have it in a yard or something? Anything's better than a funeral parlor. Bye! Oh, wait. Gotta do this. Oh, if I spelled it correctly. Sorry, I didn't catch that. <laughs> I bet you didn't. Uh, what about this? Oh, shit, hello? Oh, you gotta click on it. Penis. Sorry, I didn't Ow. catch that. Ma'am! Give my regards to your parents. Yeah, I will. Maybe. Oh, wait, I have to ask her about Stephanie, Hello, don't I? Dear. Come to see Stephanie, have you? Yes, please. She's upstairs. Go right on up. Just remember, she's grounded until the wedding. This is a horror game, actually. We're just not in the horror part at the moment. Sweetie Pox, thank you so much. I'm a simp. Simp to the look of VTuber. Oh! I'm no Coco Kiryu, but if you want a simp, go right ahead. Bye! Give my regards to your parents. Pinus. <laughs> oh my god, chilled. What were we watching last night that you made like a fucking comment about the way he said something? It was so fucking funny. What was it? I can't remember now. God damn it. It was something from Knight Rider. Oh, I know. <laughs> the guy was like, I don't know nothing about him. Him. He said it in a weird way that was so funny. Then you said it in text and it was hilarious. Him. <laughs> okay, we can go visit Smephany now. <laughs> Makoto Negi uh, needs your help. Nobody to has it. to simp for my stupid ass. As long as you're here having fun, that's cool too. Does this. Thank you so much for the bits. That's so sweet. Okay, what do we have? A room and a room and a room. A closet. Oh, this is this is the bathroom. Oops. Maybe there's some shit we can take in here. They are horse ears. Yeah, yeah. Uh oh, a toilet. Wow. We flushed it. Hello? A thin layer of hair coats virtually every inch of ceramic- Ugh! That's disgusting! Ew! Gross! Okay, now I'm afraid to click on anything else. Wads of used tissues fill this trash can. Some of them stuck to the sides? Ugh! Okay. She's purdy. <laughs> you got a purdy mouth. <laughs> okay. Um, examine medicine cabinet. It reeks of various toiletries. Can I open? Oh, I can open it. All right. What's in here? Aspirin. Oh, I can. I can take it. Or a lube. Hell yeah. What are we lubing up? Cough medicine. Disinfectant. Yeast disinfectant. Ew. I ain't touching that. Toothpaste. Ah, oh, tampons pug. Everyone needs that. Oh, I I could take I took them. <laughs> hey! I am prepared. Better ask Stephanie about those. I'm a man. I don't know what tampons are for. <laughs> what you think they're for? Oh my god. Okay, what's this? Vitamins? I take them. Ham hands? No, I'm not. <laughs> Scrumfred, thank you so much for the bits. Yeah, definitely buttholes. Or if you have a bloody nose, you could stick them right up there too, I bet. What's this? That's nothing. Floss. There's a lot of floss. Band-Aids. I cannot take those. Okay. I think I took everything. Zero Ninja, thank you for the bits. How do the VTube expressions work? Okay, so I have my iPad in front of me, and it has facial recognition. And then, so when I talk or blink or move like this, uh, 
it projects it to my Windows machine and then you see it here. It actually looks like I have to recalibrate my mouth. I do have to do that every once in a while. So you'll see her, I don't know. Buff, do you ever have to do this in the middle of your stream? I sometimes do. I think maybe I need to like improve the lighting, but we will see. I will, I'll calibrate it. Oh, you do? You always have to? Yeah, here, you know what? Hang on. Hang on, I'm also gonna go turn on the light. Ugh. Okay, that might help too. Because it needs a susceptible, like a deceptive amount of light to work. I have a little ring light, but I think I need to get a bigger one. I did not make the model. The model was made for me by Buff Pup, who's in here. They are the best. Unknown Odin, thank you for the host. You do need an artist to do to rig it up for you if you don't know how to do the rigs. Okay, let's exit. Okay. <laughs> we love Buff Pup streams. So funny. Okay, are we done in here? Maybe we should wash our hands. It's covered with what appears to be toothpaste, pubic hair, and snot. Ugh! That's disgusting. Ew. I'm getting the fuck out of here. No. Ah. Wait, what? Oh, wait. I think there was something in there I didn't look at. Oh yeah, examine the wall picture. What's that? The picture on the wall is hanging a bit crooked. Wait, operate the wall picture? What's that? Oh, whoa! Hell yeah! Damn, girl! Where are you going with that ass? Ah, oh, pug! Oh, we supposed to see that? Uh. <laughs> she was thick ass. Hell yeah. Is that Smephany? Aw, oh, shit. I'm excited. I guess that hole means that someone's looking in on her? That's gross. Don't do that. Oh, oh look, there's Smephany. Aw, oh, shit. She has nice taste. Why are, why are these windows round? Whoa, in like a fucking portcullis or something. You must be Smephany. Who are you? Oh. What are you doing in my room? Haven't you heard? We're getting married. So, you're the one. <laughs> Steve, isn't it? She doesn't know you us? You don't know me? I mean, I don't know anyone. I don't remember anything. How many times do I have to say it? Whoa. Just one, Stephanie, because I can't remember a damn thing either. Really? Oh. Oh god, I thought it was just me. So she can't remember You're not either. Alone. Can you tell me what's going on here? Those people downstairs have locked me in my room. They say I'm grounded until the wedding. Oh. Okay, so if you're just joining us, Steve in the plaid woke up in this crazy 1950s town when he's clearly from the 90s. He doesn't remember who he is or this town, but everyone says he lives here and his family's here. But we don't know the family or anything. So we've been walking around trying to figure out what's going on here. And they said we're getting married to Stephanie. And this is her and she doesn't remember anything either, but we seem to be the only two that are like that. So that's where we are right now. Those people. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. Uh, is there a way to turn down just the music so we can hear them talking a bit better? Hmm, I don't think we can do it in a dialogue box. No one believes that I've got amnesia. I believe you. Maybe some of these people believe you too. Maybe they're playing dumb. Why? Maybe they're responsible. Oh. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. 
Because in a way, whether you know it or not, I think we're both grounded. Uh, grounded. What was the other ones? Shit, I gotta write down the stuff that we need to talk about. It's been hell. They treat me well, but they won't let me leave this room. Not even to go out in the yard. Not until the wedding. They won't tell you why? Each one blames the other for grounding me. They make up different excuses. Different things I did. None of which I remember. So I sit up here. Watch the world outside my window. And listen to the noises in the house. Oh. Have you heard or seen anything that might help us figure this thing out? Every morning, a weird boy comes to the house and picks up the paper. He doesn't deliver the paper. He picks up scrap paper that Miss Potsdam uh. sets out on the porch for him. We've met him. Some morning she forgets, and the boy gets furious. He gives me the creeps. Anything else you can tell me? I hear these weird scraping sounds in the bathroom sometimes. Oh. Like something is that sliding might have been along us. the wall. <laughs> Claws, maybe. And Mr. Potsdam. I don't like the way my dear daddy looks at me. Both of them are always watching me. Especially oh, we him. were we was peeping though. You don't think they're dangerous, do you? We was I peeping. I think this whole place is dangerous. I think we've got to escape. Before it's too late. Uh oh. Escape wedding lodge. Guys, remember that. Escape wedding lodge. Escape? Harvest is a prison, Steve. Don't forget that. Okay. Of course I'm right. Lodge? Everything in Harvest seems to revolve around this damned lodge. This order of the Harvest Moon. They're responsible for this insane bake sale that's coming, and for the Harvest Blood Drive, too. When people talk about the lodge, it's always in this hushed, reverent tone. Whoa! Mom that was abrupt. Mom telling me that women can't join, but she keeps pressuring me to get you to join. She's what, not what? the only one who wants me to sign on with the Why lodge. did they have a movie That's there? Probably the worst thing what? to do. You think the lodge is some kind of trap? What the fuck? I think all of Harvest is a trap. That's true. Maybe <laughs> joining the lodge is the way out. Thank you, Hylian. Why not explore the town a little? I can't get out of here, but if I could, that's what I'd do. Maybe you can figure out what's happening here without going anywhere near the lodge. You're really afraid of the lodge, aren't you? I look at that building. I mean, it does look pretty it ominous. Right, and I get scared. Oh! <laughs> We're seeing I mean, this again? Look at the damn thing. Seem like a harmless bunch of masons to you? I don't know, maybe they won the lottery or something. Uh, amnesia. The game. It's really scary. I can't play that. Maybe my amnesia isn't total after all. You're familiar to me. Like we've met before. In another life. Oh. Maybe we really do live here. Maybe we were together. This game came out in 1996. And the same thing happened to both of us. An accident. Something. Neither of us has <laughs> bumps on our heads if that's what you're getting at. <laughs> Her Have you face. able to remember anything else? Anything at all. Well, I have had these recurring dreams. Just fragments, really. Strange, abstract images. Liquid, chrome. Probably just a dream. Well, have you thought about how to escape Harvest? Oh man. Oh, you were two years old when this came out? Uh-oh. <laughs> I was... I was 16. Uh, did we talk about the wedding yet? I can't remember. The wedding is only three weeks away. Oh. Not much time to get to know each other, is it? Don't worry about the wedding. It isn't going to happen. Suddenly the idea of a wedding doesn't seem so bad. Uh-oh. What one do I put here? I feel like I could offend her with either of these. <laughs> oh my Christ. This is 1996. CD-ROM game. I mean... 
No. It comes down to it, we just won't take the vows. I don't think anything in Harvest is that simple. Oh. Too many people I think she got a little offended. Why? Potsdam wants the meat your father promised him. True. Your parents want to force you to settle down. Mrs. Potsdam wants to have the wedding in the lodge. Me? I just want to escape. Okay. We asked about the lodge. We asked about escape. What else? What haven't we asked about? I think the first thing we picked was those people. I think. They claim to be my parents. I can't dispute it because I can't remember for sure one way or the other, but it doesn't feel right. I think she's wearing saddle shoes because this is the 50s. Do you have any idea where you do belong? No, but I'm fairly sure I don't belong in Harvest. Yeah, I can't remember anything, but I feel in my heart that the woman downstairs is not my mother. She's like this thing. Like a parody. A bad joke with mother as the punchline. Yep. Does that make any sense? Everything so far that we've seen in this game feels like a giant parody, doesn't it? I'm glad I'm not the only one who sees it that way. I thought I was going crazy. Join the club. But we can't both be crazy, Stephanie. Either way, something really weird is going on here. I've got to escape, and so do you. Because in a way, I'm drinking. Whether you know it or not. Haha. <laughs> I think we're both grounded. Right, she's already said that. Grounded. It's been hell. Oh no, we already got that. Each one. What do you think I should do next? I don't know. If I could get out of here, Hi, I'd walk around. Talk to the locals. Try to figure out a way to escape. Clearly we have to do that. And probably wind up at the lodge. Well, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? All right, uh, there's a lot of places we haven't gone yet, so... Bye, Stephanie! Come back and visit me soon, okay? Guys, we haven't even gotten to the spoopy part yet. It's very nice to you in the beginning. But... Steve, it's good to talk to you, but if... We're going to escape this wedding thing. You'd better start learning some things about Harvest. Oh. And I think you might want to start at the lodge. Okay. I But I really just, I needed to talk to you about this. It's very important. Penis. You're not making sense. Oh. Okay, bye. Come back and visit I, me soon. I refuse to okay? talk to anyone that doesn't understand my love. I'm getting out of here. All right, bye everyone. Um, okay. So let's go back to the map and, oh, you know what we should do? We need to save. Oh, you can't save on the map? Okay. That's kind of stupid. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, um, around town. Uh, is that bees? I don't like no bees. What the fuck? The attic window is the perfect nesting ground for wasps. Okay. The old car is the perfect nesting ground for what? Weren't they talking- didn't our mother mention a wasp woman or something? Oh, is this where we really want to go? Can we go? Oh, we can. Uh- Ma'am? Hey, there's poop all over your floor. Uh, is that- Did you- uh, Did you mean that to happen? What the fuck? It's fucking weird in here. From the sound of it, these cabinets are infested with wasps. Ew. Oh, boy. Oh, it's a nest. A wasp nest. A rather colorful picture of a wasp. The ice box is sealed shut with wasp nests. Hi, Tetsuo. Wait, 
Tetsuo? Like from Akira? Tetsuo! Oh my god. <laughs> she seems nice. Okay, let's talk to her. It's not often that I get visitors. Are you the wasp woman? I am Tetsuo Crumb. The ignorant of harvest called me Why the Why would she have that woman. name? A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. What? I don't understand. The politics of honey, the Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice, and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. Uh... What? Do... Do I have to talk to her? <laughs> okay, let's do it quickly. The honey. politics of honey are intertwined with the age-old struggle of the aesthetic versus the commercial. Because I choose to raise Is that the actress from Murder, Instead Murder of Me? <laughs> I'm no. upon by the community. Why? Well, raising bees is acceptable because they produce honey. Right. But sometimes it's not what is produced. So much as what is profound. What? I don't see any particular use for wasps. Why must everything have a use? Uh... Is money always the determining factor? Uh... More slender, more aerodynamic than the bee. The wasp Whoa. is a joy to behold. Oh! It has the Harvester logo in it. Beautiful and juicy. What? Isn't that enough to compensate for the little drawbacks? Is this bitch out here eating bees? Ma'am! You don't eat bees! You don't eat no wasps? What? I know they eat, like, insects in some countries, but ma'am! Ma'am, are you out here trying to fuck a bee? Stop doing that. Don't do that. Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others. Guys, the bee movie is different than I remember it. Wasps oh my god. Build nests and more wasps. Yo, this lady more. over here wanna bang wasps. They spread into eat. Everyone! <laughs> Not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper. What the hell? Perpetuating their own agenda. What? Growing stealthily, huh. surely. The most relentless of insects. Yeah, we've seen that already. Sweetie Pox, thank you for the donation. <laughs> this lady convinced me I'll hail the almighty flying ants. Wasp rule! Keep them away from innocent children. Innocent children? What better way to describe the wasp? Uh, Carefree, wild, beautiful things. I don't know about if that. If they wish to share their love with babies, or any of the rest of you ignorant hicks. Oh. That is not my concern. Uh-huh. Drawbacks. Well, as you can see, the little darlings do love to sting. What? Another source of is she like covered in stings masses. or something? It's hard to see with these graphics. No to love them. <laughs> can we leave now? Bees are like animals. They sting only for a reason. For sacrifice. They have no conception of individual sensation, of pleasure. Uh... What? I don't want to click on either of these, actually. Sacrifice. When a bee stings, it rips itself apart and dies for its audacity. This appeals to those raised worshipping a god that demands sacrifice and atonement. But the wasp is promiscuous. They are not as sympathetic to the masses. What? Because they don't Chill. die when no. they sting. <laughs> they live to sting another day. And they take pleasure from it. Uh, uh, do I want to click on this? Yes. Oh. A great deal of pleasure. The wasp is a sensual being. What? Not a laborer. 
hedonistic instead of industrial. What? Some think them quick to anger. In truth, they are easily swayed to ecstasy. Um. They penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. Each painful welt, an act of love. I don't think this lady okay. Ma'am! Bye! Okay. I'm getting out of here and we're never coming back here again. The Johnson residence. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything yet. I don't think so. We're just going to everyone and say hello. Hello, Steve. What? How's the husband to be? His Other than having face. no memory, I guess what I'm all right. What the fuck? All right. <sighs> you should be ecstatic considering what you're getting into. Blah. If you haven't gotten into it already. What? Speaking of which, I heard Stephanie was grounded. Her daddy's worried about getting his meat. Though if I were him, I'd be more concerned about Stephanie getting some meat. <laughs> uh, right. And you are... You always were a kidder, Steve. Oh, uh, they said it! I'm Mr. Johnson, Drink. remember? Glad you stopped by. Uh. Just got finished waxing the tucker. Oh. I could use a little relaxation. But since Edna's not here, I might as well talk to you. Uh... Oh, is that your car? It's very nice. Edna, who's that? I don't think we met them yet. Edna Fitzpatrick is one of the snootiest women in town. Oh. I declare there isn't a woman in Harvest that turned me away. If I was interested, that is. Uh-huh. Just because she owns DNAs, she's got all these highfalutin ideas about independence. And her with a little girl to raise. That child needs a father. And Edna, well, she needs a good, hard penis. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, penis is there. We can talk about penis. You guys, my day has come. Praise. Okay, it's, it finally happened. Uh, uh, excuse me, uh, what, penis? What makes you so sure she needs a penis? <laughs> You saying Edna's getting it from someone else? <laughs> like maybe that damn Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne? <laughs> He's over at DNA's diner every day from noon to one, eating his dad gum pie. Oh. And I got a feeling he'd like Edna for dessert. <laughs> sure, it's the only diner in town, but I'm sure he's got more on his mind than food. Whoa. All right, no need to get crazy. We were, we was just talking about penis. There ain't no reason to get mad. Diner. I'll admit DNA's diner does <laughs> just good changed business. changed his tone completely. But money isn't everything to a woman. Can money keep you warm at night? Yeah. Can you wrap your you thighs around You can light it on fire. Rig bloody gashes in its back with your painted hollered fingernails. Whoa. Edna. Whoa, whoa. Edna. So, how's Stephanie? <laughs> that transition. Holy crap. Uh, Stephanie's fine. Speaking of Stephanie. Stay away from her. I still haven't gotten an invitation to the wedding yet. I don't have anything to do with that. That's okay. Personally, Dirt. I'd prefer a pass to the honeymoon. Oh my god, it's face. You could use the back seat of my Tucker for the Whoa. maiden voyage. No, thank you. Plenty big. Believe you me. I'd drive you around. Uh, no. And I wouldn't look in the back seat. Uh, I guarantee no. Though if you'd like to come up front and take the wheel a while. Ew. I wouldn't say Ew, nay. this guy's so nasty. Hey, I like your Tucker. Heck of an automobile, isn't she? Yeah. Damn shame I have to sit out here and watch over her all the time. 
But if I didn't, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys are scared. Scratch her up playing. He can't ball. hurt us. If that's a real Tucker, I can understand. Could I take a look at it? Don't see why not. But don't touch her. I'm mighty particular about my Tucker. Oh. I had the garage remodeled like a fortress. So I could lock her up at night and get some sleep. I'm sure yeah. she's safe enough inside. A few months Ham back, hands. someone broke no, into I'm my not. house. Trying to get into the garage. I had to gripe like hell before the sheriff agreed to start the evening patrols and instigate the curb. Yeah, why don't you just put it in a driveway at least? Kino Frost, thank you for the bit. Sir, this is a Wendy's. We talked about all this, right? Okay, so, fuck. I don't take your meaning. No, it doesn't seem like you do. Okay, bye. Bye now. Whoa, his, his face. Oh my god. Okay, uh. Let's see. Where haven't we been? There's a couple of places still that we haven't been. Abandoned house, the cemetery. Okay, what's here? Ugh. Is that the lodge in the back? I think that it is. I think we just walk around here. What the? Hmm. I want to save the lodge for last. But maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> That's how I walk! Me too. Uh, oh, Shady Oaks, Shady Oaks Mortuary. This is where we're gonna have the wedding, I guess? If I can't get into the lodge? Oh, it's not that bad. It's, I thought it was gonna be worse. Candles. These votive candles have been lit by many well-wishers for the dead, or one well-wisher with a lot of matches. Okay. Pair of comfortable looking sofas. Schedule of this week's funerary events. Okay. What's in here? Ah! Oh, yeah, ew! A disembodied organ which was never meant to pump formaldehyde. Aw, oh, gross. There's shit everywhere. Oops, he spilled. The fans wearing blades barely stir the stench-laden air. Sounds gross in here! Hello, sir. Steven. Oh, Who I are like you? <laughs> I am Daniel Moynihan. <laughs> What's with the top hat? Proprietor of the Wayward Hotel. Abraham Lincoln! Most people ask me why I don't remember their names. He's alive? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Oh! They said it! Besides, as one Take a drink. who deals with the dead, I try not to involve myself in the affairs Ugh. of the living. Your loss of memory is of no concern to me, true or false. Ironic, considering my recent involvement in a charity event. What are you talking about? My complaints were central to the scheduling of the upcoming Harvest Bake Sale. Oh my god, the Bake Sale, I'm gratified the Order of the Harvest Moon got involved. The proceeds will certainly help cover my losses. Oh. They're doing the Bake Sale to give this guy money? For what? This bake sale is a joint effort of the Harvest PTA and the Order of the Harvest Moon. The proceeds will be used to set up a fund for transients. In other words, bums and societal rejects without families who wander into harvest uninvited. Uh -huh. Then the Order is setting up shelters for the homeless? Not shelters. Graves. What? You see, a great number of these hobos die while passing through. No, I wonder why. Don't ask me why. It's what uh, those people do. Uh-huh. Use your common sense, Stephen, memory or no. If they were involved in setting up homeless shelters, then why would I be involved? And why would I be sustaining losses? I'm sorry, is someone having diarrhea in the background? Because that's all I can hear right now. What were we talking about? As always, the Order of the Harvest Moon has taken the lead in addressing our societal ills. Through their sponsorship of the Blood Drive and the Bake Sale, the Lodge ensures that all our needs are met. Okay. Meet, such as... Pardon me, there are corpses to prepare. Uh... And my losses have been substantial of late. Right. If you're sincerely interested in the Order, however... You should stop by the lodge and speak with the sergeant-at-arms. Okay. Why should I be interested, Mr. Moynihan? 
Of all the spots in Harvest, the lodge is the most prominent. Literally That's what everyone's saying, right? It is the ambition of everyone here to join. <laughs> oh my God, Jill and <laughs> To attain wisdom. What kind of wisdom? If I knew, I'd be a member. I have the feeling you have what it takes to join the order. Come join our evil bake sale. We all believe that. Whether or not you see, live it's perfect for Halloween. Potential is up to you. Losses. What kind of losses does this guy have? It seems that, like some elephant's graveyard, people of low station come to harvest to die. Oh. They simply drop dead, penniless, and they all need burials. God knows, by putting these people up at the Wayward Hotel, I do more than my fair share. So why must I pay for the coffins and burial materials as well? Wait. My losses to the dead are substantial. Hopefully the bake sale will offset some of them. Wait. So a bunch of hobos and bums and stuff come here and then they end up dying. And this guy has to pay for burying them and stuff? And they think a bake sale in a town of 50 people is going to pay for all that shit? Huh? Am I, am I missing something here? As owner of the only hotel in town, I do my best to accommodate any hobo who straggles into town you vacancies to. permitting. What? Axel the King of Fire, thank you for 30 months in a row. How you doing, friend? Um... Were the guys who dropped dead staying at your hotel? I really don't recall. Oh yeah, sure you don't. We get so many low-life dregs passing mm -mm. through here, I can't remember every little death that occurs. That's sus huh. as... Are there that many? That's right. As I said, sliced open on a mortician slab, every corpse looks the same. Red and juicy. Uh! But surely you'd remember if these deaths what? were an unusual occurrence. You sound like you're launching some sort of investigation. Urgh, he's mad. That would be most unwise. Wait, are they... Are they killing and eating these people? What's happening? Hey, can I ask about your top hat? It's nice. You're spouting gibberish. Oh, I'll give you gibberish, motherfucker. You're spouting gibberish. Okay, but Abraham Lincoln, it's been my dream to fuck an old dead president. How about it? You're no? spouting gibberish. Oh. Bye, then. I'd say it's been a pleasure, but I find the company of the living so wearisome. Fine. Examine the window. A pair of bloody handprints are smeared across the glass. What's this? Glue. On the counter sits a new tube of astro glue. Can I have that? You can't have that, Stephen. I need it oh. for my work. Oh. And may I say you're a rude young man for attempting to steal it. I was oh. only going to borrow it. Sorry. Indeed. And have you anything I could hold as security? It's just glue, security. motherfucker. Like what? Money? I'm afraid that's not good enough. I need that glue for my work. You must present me with something Ask significant. Ask him about John Wilkes Booth. <laughs> Did you ever see him? We can get you right in the back. Okay, fine. Uh, what's in here? Oh my god, we're in church. Well, time to explode. Uh, rows and rows of empty wooden pews caked with the dust of indifference. Oh, that's deep. The light from this candelabra gleams unwholesomely pink, like the eyes of a horde of rats balancing on thin wires. Oh. Okay. Oh. What the isn't that a WoW character up there? What the? Someone cracking a whip somewhere? What the fuck? What's happening? Praise this WoW character! Hauntingly beautiful stained glass window in which a man holds a scythe in one hand and some ethereal power in the other. What? Hello? Yo, can you get your kinks on somewhere else? This is a church. Saint kneels before a shepherd, jubilantly terrified. Small lectern for priest. Empty vessel of the dead. Brass candelabra holding several strange smelling candles. I don't think we need to do anything else here, do we? 
All right, I'm getting out of here. Fucking kink, kink church. All right. Uh. Okay, the fire station. Let's do all these too. You shut up too. Oh God. Okay, what happened here? <laughs> um. Oh, a shovel. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, you shovel on ashes? Oh. Buried in the ash debris, you spot a few hidden remnants. A flyer for the harvest bake sale. Oh. A postal worker's button, and it looks like it was ripped from the cloth. Interesting. Anything else? Three fire hydrants in the burning and the building still burned down? That seems weird. That seems sus. Hi Sildun, how are you? It's a surprise. I had it made and showed it off on Tuesday. And now uh I don't know, it's just my way of giving back some interaction to you guys. Since I don't use webcams or anything. Ah! Oh, the fire station. Everyone was talking about the firemen, right? So they must be cool as hell. Oh, hello. It's pink. Look at that. I've never seen a pink fire truck before. A fire truck with a lovely shade of pink. Hello. Please excuse the mess. Oh. They've done wonders with the upstairs bedroom, but this garage defies color coordination. <laughs> Are you serious? Can we go in? Oh my god. It's Yakuya. Oh, hello. It's a puppo. Kino Frost, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome to the Luka Troopers. We're so glad to have you here. And Fetch, thank you for the host. And also, thank you for 57 months. I did get the invite. Yes. Unfortunately, I have to stream then. No doubt about it. But Mr. I hope you have a good time. Okay, this dog is going crazy. Mad says, I like this fire station. Let's stay here. Mad? I hope you won't get offended by what's in here. Saliva is foaming from his barking chops. Popo, please. I'm trying to be a friend. Don't bother me. I'm sketching. <laughs> oh, look what you made me do. <laughs> What you made me do? <laughs> Hello, Steve. <laughs> Welcome to the House of Flame, as we like to call it. <laughs> oh, cut it out, bots. Honestly, once he gets barking, a good piece of meat is the only way to shut him up. Oh. What? There you go, spot. <laughs> Whoa. That was weird. Oh. So, Steve. <laughs> Bet you don't remember me. <laughs> Heard about that short and the old wiring. I'm Fire Marshal Sparky. I love him. Fire Department. <laughs> I love them. Oh my god. Where'd you hear about my memory loss? Don't be silly. Everyone thinks this amnesia kick is a scream. <laughs> well, you always were a kidder, Steve. <gasps> he said it. Besides, Drink. It's my job to keep abreast of developments in the community, ah. to better serve you, the public. I'm sure you'll be thrilled when you learn of the many civic improvements we have planned for your fire department. Ooh. Such as? Well, don't tell any of the others, but I've secured a bolt of the most divine moth material. <laughs> I've hidden it because, well, if any of these Marys got a hold of it, it'd be gone in a jiffy. So I'd rather keep it <laughs> hush hush. I'm going to make new drapes for the firehouse, and if I have any left, <laughs> cross your fingers. I'm going to make everyone matching mauve pillow cozies. I Those can't with this voice. Don't be such a <laughs> girl. Why are you drawing my ass? Stop looking at me. Besides, we haven't had a fire and harvest since the newspaper. That was art. Down. <laughs> So I'll admit that the you shut up to this place is one big accident waiting to happen. That is Isn't my that Animal right Crossing spot? flag. Ah, hello, puppy. Look at him. Oh, I love I love the picture. Can I have that and I frame it on my wall? How about art? Art enriches the community, Steve. No less than a 
It is too dumb to be offensive. This is all just a stupid parody. A Don't get mad. So what if we're drawing a nude man? It's the play on so fireman being flames. Get it, you get it. And over and over in all sorts of provocative positions. Oh. Context, not content. Process, not subject. Don't be so ghost, Dave. It's beneath you. We didn't do that. Um, the newspaper fart. Yeah, we saw that building burn down. What can you tell us about that? A dreadful affair. <laughs> you taking a poop. that a brick and steel building with a sprinkler system could go up that quickly. Oh, wow. How did it happen? Do you think it was arson? Oh, please. Dwayne was glad enough to see the thing go up. And so was McKnight. I don't think we've met those people if yet. If you could get into that safe in his wall... Forget it. Look, Steve, as far as I know, the fire was an accident. Let's just leave it at that. Now, Tao, I... Whoa! Now don't you go moving. <laughs> Who did? Um, how do I explain what's happened? So, we're the guy in plaid. We're Steve. We are from clearly like the 90s or something. And we've woken up in this 1950s Americana town, but everything's weird. No, we don't know who anyone is here, but they say they know us and they like there's our mom is here But it's not really our mom like we don't know who they are and we're trying to figure out who we are and why we're here And what this place is about everything's fucking strange Like everything's weird the wasp woman Some people think all we do is sit around sketching fetching examples of manhood for our <laughs> amusement Nothing yeah. could be further from the truth just the other day, we cited Ted to a crumb for fire code violations. Hell yeah, that place is All dangerous. All the dried out paper wasp nests clustered around our wooden house. Why, it's a chem log just waiting for the right faggot. <laughs> Believe me, none of us wants to see another fiasco like a certain <laughs> fire. <laughs> oh my god. They meant that in the actual term that it used to be. A bundle of sticks or a cigarette both of which could cause a fire so nobody get offended but I totally laughed at it. anyway uh, okay so we already asked about the newspaper fire wasn't there one more thing shut up bye bye I wonder if we can get it back right now Steve I'm inspired uh oh um what was the other thing shoot this is this is one thing about this game that's really fucked up. If you don't look at all of the the keywords and you don't write them down, you'll forget and then they'll end the dialogue tree and you can't get it back. Come again? No. How about penis? You must know about that. Come again? Oh. Bye. Bye bye. Can we talk to this dude? A male model. Well, I should say. I don't converse on Whoa. the job, Steve. What do you mean? I don't converse on the job, Steve. Okay. Stop it! You're messing me up! <laughs> oh, that's funny. A picture of phallic-like structures standing all in a row. Decorative oriental fans from the Ming Dynasty. The lights are too high up to reach. An impressionistic landscape. They've got a lot of art in here. Wow. <laughs> Dad, why did you take me to a gay fire station? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, I like the fire department. That's the best place we've been so far. Alright, let's go to the police station now. Oh, what's this dude doing over here? Cop ignores you too busy writing a bug report. Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Is this the Dukes of Hazard? What is this? It's the Colonel. Hello, Steve. Let me introduce myself. I'm Sheriff Dwayne Dwayne, and this here is Loomis. Pleasure, I reckon. Hello. And we haven't met before? Of course we have. But I heard about your alleged amnesia and figured I'd play along. Dwayne, Dwayne. I sure hope this is just a prank and not the start of some insanity plea. 
keep your nose clean or you'll wind up in jail and that's no place to hold a wedding. Man, everyone knows us here. It's weird. Okay, can you guys write this down real quick? Amnesia, jail, wedding, Loomis. Thanks, guys. You're the best. I literally cannot have any more fucking tabs open or I'm going to, like, lose sight of everything. So, amnesia, jail, wedding, Loomis. Why do you want to break your poor mama's heart with all this amnesia bunk? I'm telling you the truth. Why won't anyone believe me? No one believes well, us. Well, you've always been a kidder, oh, Steve. He said it! Yeah, so everybody Drink. keeps telling me. Boy, you need to stop all this funning and get serious. Funning? You've got a wedding coming up soon. Heck, you should be thinking about your career and about joining the Lodge. Everyone thinks that we are like joking around and that we just don't want to get married or take any responsibility but we really don't know any of this stuff like we've never been here so we don't know what the hell's happening i'm drinking lime bubbly bubbly i would be drinking alcohol but i have to do voice audition later so i cannot all right so wedding was one of them amnesia or no you can't have forgotten you're about to marry the prettiest little thing at harvest I think you and Stephanie are perfect for each other. Oh. I just hope her father's disappointment doesn't spoil everything. I mean... Disappointment? Mr. Potsdam he was wants pretty to hold the wedding in the lodge, but he'll never get in. Like all the rest, he's always hanging around the post office the first day of the month, waiting for Boyle to bring out that uh, month's thanks, lodge guys. applications. I'll try. And there's always a long line. Never enough applications to go around. And even if you do get an application, chances are you're right out of luck. Fewer call to the order and even less accepted. And Potsdam, well, they've turned him down so many times. Unless he does something radical, he'll never get it. Thanks, in. Guardian. Ah, thank you. Okay, now we've got crime also. But let's also ask about the lodge. I don't mind telling you. I'd never get anything done if not for the Lodge's efforts. To join the Order of the Harvest Moon is the highest dream of everyone in Harvest. I guess so. It seems like it, huh? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. <laughs> when I was a boy, I wanted to join the Lodge. I would have, too, when I grew up. Except neither my teacher nor my clergyman helped me. Oh, no. A man can't realize his dreams without help. My failure to gain admission is the failure of all of Harvest, Steve. And don't you forget it. Okay. Boy, I won't. Whether what? you know it or not, you want to join the Lodge. Do I? Or you will soon enough. Especially with the wedding coming up. Alright, the wedding. What was the other thing we wanted to ask about? Loomis, right? I think that was one of them. Loomis here is my deputy. Without him, I'd have a hard time keeping the peace. Thanks, guys. Or at least taking a lunch break. Oh. Mainly, Loomis answers the phone and babysits the office while I'm out. Okay. Though sometimes he likes to go in the back and stain the jail mattress. What? Isn't that Ew. right, Loomis? Oh, now, Sherry, <laughs> what you gotta go and say that for? Oh, uh, gross. Loomis has more than his share of problems. I wouldn't invite him to the wedding. Or if you do... Make sure he doesn't catch the garter. What? That could be embarrassing. Ew. Oh, I wouldn't do nothing, Dwayne. But I sure would like a little garter that had been around Stephanie's thigh. Oh. oh. Ew. Well, that'd be right special. <laughs> Loomer? No more like Coomer. You shut up, too. Oh, shit. Uh, jail, I think, was the other one. Now that's a place you don't want to wind up, boy. We've got a three strikes and you're out rule here in Harvest. This is ew, you the game. You get arrested the third time. You never get out of jail alive. So don't go committing any crimes, boy. Amnesia or no? Oh. I'll lock you up pronto. Oh, Pog, are we getting raided during the grossest part already? <laughs> about a guy talking about staining a mattress. Miracle Captures, thank you for the host Calming Tide 33 months. Psychotic Sonic for three months. Chemtastical 29 months. And now we're getting raided by Silver Kaze Ninja and Frank. Hello, friends. <laughs> Look at the size of that tower. Look at the size of this lodge. It's huge. 
Oh my gosh, you guys! Thank you so much for being here! Hello! Uh, I hope you had a wonderful stream. We are playing an awful game for Halloween time. This is called Harvester. It's a 1996 CD-ROM horror game. Uh, right now it's just kind of like more uh, like Twilight Zone, but later it'll get pretty gross. Uh, I hope you like weird shit. <laughs> also, uh, Silver Kaze Ninja and friends, uh, you can, we, can we interest you uh, about the wonders of horse? I, I hope so. If it works, I, I hope it works because we broke everything earlier as well. Rila, thank you for seven months. Everyone, join me and help Silver Kaze Ninja and his raid figure out about horse. Horse. Have you considered? Horse? They are a wonder. The flanks of pure muscle. Um, the mischievous twinkle in the eyes. Right. The melodious noise. <coughs> yes, horses are beautiful and majestic. Did you know? Horses love to eat apples, but occasionally crave other sustenance. Uh -oh. Did you know? You can tell a horse's age from its teeth. I'm three. Did you know? Horses have four legs. When we're looking. Here we have a state-of-the-art translation device. Let's hear what these beautiful beasts have to say. Horses, horses, yes, the lot of horses. Horses, horses all the time. Stunning. That's all we know about horses. Ah, Silver Kaze Ninja and friends. Thanks for coming along and thanks for learning about horse. I appreciate it. Again, we're playing Harvester. Uh, this is an old retro horror game from 1996. It's awful. <laughs> and it plays like shit. And it runs like crap. But we're getting through it. Oh, man. So, um, we are Steve, that's the one in the plaid right there, and we've woken up with amnesia in this really fucked up 1950s town. We don't know anyone or what's going on here, but they say they know us, and they're all pushing us to marry a girl named Stephanie, who has also lost her memory, and they want us to join the lodge. And everything here is really weird and creepy. And it doesn't make much sense. So right now, uh, you're not really supposed to know what's going on. You're just supposed to go around and meet everybody. And it's fucking strange. But, uh... But yeah, so... We're talking to the sheriff right now and the deputy. Did we bring up the stuff about the actor in real life? I haven't yet, but I know exactly what you're talking about. Oh, shit. Chris Master, I have to hydrate. Thank you. I was going to save that for later because I didn't want to ruin it because <laughs> this game's already bad enough. But yeah, there's some um, there's some stuff surrounding the actor, the main actor of Steve. Ah, uh, oh, gamer man. Oh, thank you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I am a little crazy, poor John. But thanks for coming around. I hope you stick around with us and I hope that um, you're entertained by what we play here. Oh man, thank you so much. You know what we also have to do? Um, we have to save. Because we haven't saved in a long time. Stop on by any time, Steve. I will, sir. I will. Okay, let's save. And uh, we're gonna call this one Police Station. You it's have to Yakuya. save a lot in this, because anything at any point will come out and kill you. Hello, Black! How are you? Aw, oh, Double G2X, thank you for the Prime sub! Welcome to the Luca Troopers, we're so glad to have you. I hope you enjoy your emotes and everything. Thank you so much. I heard Steve was added to Smash. It might be the same one. Who knows? Heavy Base, thank you for 37 months earlier during the raid video. Thank you. And Rilla, seven months. Can we talk to Loomis as well? Anything I can help you with? Oh my god, his voice. That coffee smells good. Help yourself. Speaking of which, 
you're real lucky to be marrying Stephanie. Oh. She don't look like a good woman. What? I just hope she don't turn out like Mrs. Loomis. Uh, for mercy forbid, Mrs. Phelps. Oh my God. Good women can be awful hard on a man's needs, don't you know? What? Oh my God. What's he talking about? <laughs> um, Stephanie, Mrs. Loomis, Mrs. Phelps, a man's needs. Oh. Well, gosh darn, she's pretty. Uh, kind of like a gal I seen on some of them French postcards they used to make. Uh-oh. Used to be. I'd take them things, go back in the jail. If what? nobody was there and kind of look them over one-handed. Ew! Hold some towels. <laughs> that was for Mrs. Loomis. Uh, that's disgusting. Uh, I'm playing this semi-blind. I do remember some things, but it's been a very long time. Mrs. Loomis. Oh, gosh. I wish I had some of them girly pictures. Oh. But Mrs. Loomis won't I gonna keep them in the house. I bet you we give him the porno mag I that we got. I still remember the time she caught me holding some of them pictures up with one hand. Uh <laughs> The broom to me. Oh my god. I howled like a hound dog. The broom going up and down, flashing straw and blood, what? blood and straw, and I drooped. I was crying so bad. <laughs> and it was so hard I had to crawl under the porch naked. <laughs> With all the black winter spiders, and I got bit something fierce. <laughs> Little fangs are digging into my bare behind. All what? Over. I ask you, is Ew. That, a way to treat a man? <laughs> that sounds like when <laughs> Chill tells me a story. <laughs> make it no easier, neither. Ah, gross. Oh my god, I don't think he's okay. No, Mrs. Phelps. Mrs. Phelps down at the general store don't help things none. She's got them special picture books. The one with the ladies. The ladies. But she won't sell me none on account of she knows my wife, Mrs. Loomis. Oh. That this is the fifties. I can see britches. it. If and I even ask about them, she tells Mrs. Loomis and I get the broom. Enough to break a man's heart. Her burning my French postcards and me unable to replace them. <laughs> a man's got need, don't you know? Yep, I know. But a man's needs. Do I want to ask about this? I don't know. I bet you though we have to give him the porno mag that we got. Why? You sure ought to appreciate what a man's got to do sometimes in a parked car or what? waist high knot hole in a tree <laughs> or jail cell at noon. Ew! Matter of fact, Mrs. Phelps got no reason not to sell you some of them. Hi, Bobo. Hard girly picture book. <laughs> what? If you can get any, if see clear to part with them, bring them around with the sheriff's at lunch and I'd be obliged. Guys, do you stick it in tree knots? That's disgusting. I've never heard the likes of it. Uh, did we ask about everything? I think we did. I don't know. Oh, man. I think so, though. Okay, bye! Good time, kiddo. What's in here? Examine the door. Door's locked. Door's locked. We probably have That's to get the, the sheriff out of room. here. Where we store items lifted from crime scenes. Oh. It's kept locked at all times. Right. There's things in there that could make people jump through hoops if I wanted. I bet. Anything Boy, else? The way you keep pestering me, you'd think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? Stop on by any time, Steve. <laughs> yeah, this part of the game is supposed to make you uncomfortable because everything's supposed to be, like, fucking weird and off. We're still looking around at the whole place. We haven't even seen everything yet. Okay, Edna's Diner is the next place. Oh. It looks like a 50s diner. Yes, it does. 
All right, one second. I'm going to recalibrate because it's getting darker in here. I need to get a bigger ring light. There we go. That's how it be. A 1955 Frag 100 with real leather seat. Whoa. Oh, hello. Oh, there's a kid in here. Hi. Hi, what's your name? Karen. What are you doing? Playing. Ah, oh, she's My cute. My mom is working, so I gotta stay out of her hair. Wanna play? Not now, maybe later. Okay. Bye-bye. Ah, She's adorable. That probably means something's gonna happen to her later. Anyway. Oh, the sheriff's in here now? How did he- how did he teleport in here? Didn't we just see him? What up, boy? Hello there, Steve. Here for lunch? No. Just here, looking around. Though I'm not entirely sure where here is. Oh, I forgot. You're playing your little amnesia prank. Well, boy. This is DNA's diner. Isn't that right, Edna? Don't listen to Sheriff Dwayne. This is Edna's diner. But ever since the E burned out on the sign, they've been giving me a hard time. I like it. Now, don't be like that, Edna. It's a great place to eat, which is good. Since it's the only place to eat in Harvest. Oh, okay. Bye. Stop on by any time, Steve. Hi, ma'am. Oh, Steve, what are you doing sneaking up on me like that? God, for a second I thought you were Mr. Johnson. <sighs> what would you like to order? Uh, you know me? Sure. And my name's Edna Fitzpatrick. I'm not the one with amnesia. Then you believe me. Well, you always were a kidder, uh, Steve. They said it! I guess Take I've a drink. changed. I'm not kidding. <laughs> now, Steve, faking amnesia won't help anything. If you don't want to marry Stephanie, then don't. But don't play sick, for heaven's sake. I'd expect that from Karen, not an 18-year-old. Oh my god. Karen. You've met Karen, my 8-year-old. Yeah, she's cute. Other Aww. than the diner, she's all I have. Oh, she's adorable. Alright. Stephanie. There isn't a nicer girl in Harvest than Stephanie. Steve. How drunk am I? I'm you not at all. I'm just drinking water. Her hand. <laughs> I, don't remember I have voice auditions to do later. I can't drink Honestly, now. I'm sorry. Men are so childish. But later. I don't know what it is about marriage that turns even the bravest man into a coward. I was going to marry Karen's father when he just up and I ran think we're out up to five or six times that Kidder's been said. I heard that he joined the lodge. But if he did, I never saw him come out again. Oh. Even Sheriff Dwayne wasn't able to find out what happened to him. So, her husband, uh, the guy she was going to marry, the one that she had Karen with, um, went to join the lodge before they got married, and he never came out? And people want me to join that place? I don't think so. <laughs> you crazy, bitch! Alright, fine. Mr. Johnson. Yeah, we already had a talk about him. Uh, he talked about you a lot, actually. He said that you needed a good, hard penis. What do you think about that, ma'am? Mr. Johnson has a a liking for me. Oh, uh, yeah. I mm -hmm. call it a crush, but that's too yeah. innocent a yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's a bitter man with too much time on his hands. Hi, He's Squirrel. How are you? never being rejected by the lodge. And there's something unwholesome in the way he looks at me. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm always glad when the sheriff comes in every yeah, day. Yeah, he's gross. Me. We talked to him. He's disgusting. All right, can you tell me about the lodge? Because everyone's telling me about this goddamn lodge. The lodge is the repository of all wisdom. You should join the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. Oh, and yeah? And soon. Why? For God's sake, what is it about this place? Did your husband die the there? The ripens and waits not for the scythe. The what? farmer who waits too long, it were better that he used the scythe to rip his own stomach out than to stay his scythe when the wheat ripens. What? The harvest moon wanes and then comes winter. An empty belly, the body sun's belly, gurgling within or bloody on the ground. What does it benefit a man if he gains his soul and loses the world? You hunger. Feed yourself. Uh, before it's too what? late. Oh. What the fuck? Was she possessed? Edna? Steve. What the fuck? What happened? Were we talking about Boyle? What? No. Or was it Karen? Ma'am! It seems strange there for a minute. Are you alright? I'm sorry. 
Oh my god. I'm under a lot of stress. Running this diner all alone. Forgive me. Uh, bitch is crazy. Okay, just like everybody else here. Wow. Bye. Stop by anytime, Steve. Uh, no, I don't think I will. I got, I, I'm getting out of here. All right, where haven't we been? I think there's a couple of places left. All right, let's go over here. Oh, a TV station. All right. The hell? Indians? I don't think that's a nice word anymore. Uh, don't you mean Native Americans? Too busy drinking and smoking, they ignore you. Well, that's nice. A silver tucker with a yellow interior. Another tucker? Aren't they supposed to be rare cards? No, I know. It's the 1950s. They definitely mean Indians. And you're going to see that a lot right now. Oh, look. Oh, it's, it's, it's the cowboy show that our little brother was watching. Range Rider. Odd. No one's operating the camera. A fairly primitive form of mind control. <laughs> All right, let's talk. Stay tuned, buckaroos. There's more to come on Range Riders Cowboy Roundup. So don't go away. <laughs> that guy's me. That's my mood right there. And what's your name, hombre? Steve. Steve's a swell name. <laughs> my dog's name is Steve. That's me with cigarettes. Would you like my autograph, Steve? Yeah. Sign my ass. Why not? You look like you belong in Pee Wee's motherfucking playhouse. Okay. Here you go, then. All right, TV violence, like the only thing we can talk about. Violence? What about it? Um, children watch your show, don't you think this violence is bad for them? Violence is as American as apple pie and low SAT scores. <laughs> Where would we be right now if the cowboys hadn't gone out west and butchered innocent people to steal their land? Answer me that, Mr. Know-it-all. Wow. But what about studies that have shown that children become more violent when watching violence? Buckaroo, I rip the guts out of godless heathen engines. Most uh. kids don't see godless heathen engines on a regular basis. And if they do, they better either get their eyes checked or do like old Ranger Don't worry about this part. Don't worry. Out of them. Lest they want to go untreated for psychotic It's supposed to be a parody. Everyone calm down. Their scalps hanging from a buckskin belt. Wow. Oh, shit. What? Oh, shit on a stickeroo. <laughs> That's so me. That's me holding that sign. The parents that are griping about what is violence happening? on TV are the same parents that go outside in the morning to fetch their papers, secure in the knowledge that they won't get an arrow through the noodle because the violence they hate so much done cleared the engines out of the neighborhood. Yeah, civilization has benefited from violence. Wowee. But should violence be That's treated deep. as entertainment? Check my rating, son. Violence is entertainment. I just put it on the air. If some kid watches, that says something about the kid, not me. I mean... Now, excuse me, we're going back on the air. Man. <laughs> Steve don't even know what to do. Holy shit. Oh, examine the backdrop. A corny western backdrop complete with a cardboard teepee. Yeah, I mean, it's racist. Can't talk now, buckaroo. We're on in just a sec. Okay. Bye. Happy trails, buckaroo. Okay, I'll see you later on Pee Wee's Playhouse, though. All right. Oh, hello. Very poor reception. Strange, since the broadcast originates from here. That's weird. Well, hang on a minute. You're gonna hear my mic move sick. Sorry about that. Same... Picture of a gorgeous model signed with Kiss My Pineapple, Red Muffy. McKnight. Hey, sport. This is a private office. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah, I know, Mr. McKnight. I own and operate this station. Have you brought me some news for tonight's broadcast, or... I've lost my memory. That's news. The hell it is. You always were a kidder, Steve. Oh! He said it! Any real news to tell me? Oh. Actually, I was just wanting Drink. to know more about the TV station. Hey, 
WHAR is the only television station yeah, in Harvest. Yeah, we did meet the, the firefighters. They were the best. The newspaper building I love them. <laughs> we're golden. Nobody competes with us, sport. Sport. What an odd coincidence. Didn't the newspaper just burn down here recently? I see what's happening here already. Hey now, sport. That's an irresponsible allegation. Yeah, I had nothing to do with that fire. Just because WHAR may have benefited from it and I danced on the ashes a little doesn't mean I torched the place. <laughs> he looks like yeah, Bill Clinton. Clinton. Give me doubts. You seem awfully touchy on the subject, sport. I'm touchy when people try to muscle their way into my business. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave my office and don't come back. Oh, man. Nothing else? Don't hurry back. What the fu- I'ma kill you first, ass. I did not have sexual relations with that fire. Gain Memorial School. That doesn't sound right. What the fuck? Oh, you need to clean up in here. Hello? Oh, the bake sale. The bake sale will be held here. Gain Memorial Bake Sale. Wait a minute. Wait, are they talking about that mur- that... Ed Gein is a murderer, isn't he? What the fuck? Is that who it is? Are you serious? Oh shit, yeah, I should save. I haven't saved in a million years. Um... Ah. Oh, here. School. Pronounced Gein? Gein Memorial. Oh, all right. So I knew I, I read something about that at some point. Hello. Steve, good of you to drop by, big guy. Haven't seen you since graduation. A lot of changes, I hear. You could say that. Good, good. That's a nice part of my job, turning fine young men and women out into the world and then watching them prosper. Of course, I was able to reach more people at the old Sentinel. God bless her. But then again, I never got to see the results of my work up close before. Was that, is that Who the newspaper? You? you know very well I'm Mr. Harold. Oh, so you used to work Gein there? Memorial. Steve, I've heard about this amnesia nonsense. I had hopes you'd be in the lodge by now, fine young fellow like yourself. But now, I think maybe you need a little more quality time. What? What does that mean? Lime and double G2X from earlier. Thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome to Luka Trubas. We're so glad to have you. Thank you so much. Uh, quality time? Uh, I'm worried about that. What does that mean? What do you mean, quality time? Some, like Miss Whaley, favor stern discipline. Corporal punishment. Right. As a means of socialization. Oh, okay. For myself, I temper discipline with love uh. quality time can be such a warm sharing experience after just a few sessions you'd stop this amnesia nonsense and become a productive member of society and a fit candidate for the lodge no how about no <laughs> no is good oh you're a bad man amnesia you turned out pretty good, except for that amnesia nonsense. It's not nonsense. Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. Ha, <laughs> they said it. Maybe you need a little straightening out. Oh, the things I could do to you. <gasps> Ew. You'd be a much finer young man with just a little quality Don't time. touch me. Was well, disgusting. That's what that is. Boy, you nasty. Oh shit, are we already at bye? I don't even, he had so many things I could have asked him. Ah, oh, crap. And of course I picked the gross thing to ask about. Shit. What, what were the other things? Oh, the Sentinel, thank you. Boy, I sure miss the old newspaper. Oh, so he did the work there. The sheriff never did investigate that fire properly. 
Okay. Call it a newspaper man's instinct. Though I can't imagine why Sheriff Dwayne would cover up anything. I mean, the only is ones weird. who stood to profit from the newspaper going out of business was the owner of the TV station. And Mr. McKnight had an airtight alibi. Huh. Still, if not for the fire, I never would have wound up as principal of Gein Memorial. Gein Memorial. That sounds weird. Gein Memorial. Sounds like a cemetery or a hospital, not a school. This institution was named for a great man. What? Whose first name escapes me. It really is that murderer He epitomized guy? the great potential within us all. Wow. Big guy. Wow. I hear there's an honorary plaque commemorating him within the lodge. Oh, well. The lodge. Big guy, born some quality time. The greatest gift I can bestow upon you as your former principal is a word of advice. Join the order of the harvest moon at any cost. Within the lodge lies your future. Huh. And without dust. Everyone wants us to join the lodge now. Surely mine is the most important position in harvest. The ability to mold young minds. That's power. You might think Sheriff Dwayne's the most important man here, big guy. Big guy? But he only deals with my failures. Oh. When I do my job right, the sheriff never sees a thing. Big guy? Is that is that a euphemism? Why do you keep calling me big guy? A sign of respect, lad. As principal, my station is higher than yours now. But you never know what the future holds. So you should always hedge your bets. And pay tribute I mean, to Steve your I mean, Steve is inferiors. pretty thick. We see. You never know who will come to power. Or who. Even now, wields it behind the scenes. For all I know, you might already be a member of the Order. With access to the Lodge. If that were the case, you'd be my superior, and I'd be all that much better off having shown you respect and spent some quality time with Steve's you. Steve's 18. I think that's everything? Drop in again soon. Adult education is a wonderful thing, as is adult quality time. <laughs> nope. Nope. No thanks. No, thank you, please. Oh. The children look stunned and zombified. A rough sketch of the lodge. Even the paper cutouts look stunned and zombified. <laughs> what the fuck? My goodness, class, this is Steven. He used to be a student here at Gein Memorial. Say hello, class. They're reticent. The educator's gravest problem today is the apathy of the students. All right. What's wrong with their heads? I can tell you in one word, Steven. Discipline. Thank goodness you uh, are a smiley bear. Does she hit you him with are stuff? a smiley bear. Oh, no. Then you remember me? Not as such. So many pupils, Stephen. They come and they go. But I can always spot those who were nice boys. You can tell from the forehead. The lobes. Right, class? I'm glad you stopped by, Stephen. Would you care to say a few words to the class about civic responsibility? No. Not really. Hell no. I was just passing through. Oh, but you must, Stephen. A positive role model might be just the thing to inspire these little monsters. Steven, have you any questions for me? Or shall I continue with class? I think she hits them on the head with that baseball bat. Ask away then. Harvest. Can you tell me anything about Harvest? Harvest was founded by the Order of the Harvest Moon about a hundred years ago. For what purpose? Why, I'm sure you'd have to ask them. You'll find the members of the Order at the Lodge. Right, we still have to go over there. This lodge, what do you know about it? The building itself, like Harvest, was constructed with a specific purpose in mind. That noble intent is known only to those within the Order. You're at about the right age to join them, Stephen. And you will do so, if you care about your future. I didn't, Wolf. I don't know how to do that. Corporal punishment. We don't practice corporal punishment here. 
I never believed in that old adage, spare the rod and spoil the child. A rod is too thin. But a baseball bat? That bridges the generation oh. gap quite nicely. Oh, well, there it is. Oh, dear. Whoa! Whoa. Is conducting another air raid drill. Everyone into the hallway. Quick. Jesus! Air raid! If an A-bomb hits, what good is it gonna do to duck and cover? Uh-oh, Billy! Shouldn't have said that! <laughs> oh! Oh, shit! Whoa! Okay, that's- that's- okay. Okay, nice Billy- Billy's start. dead. That was exciting. Billy's dead, everyone! <laughs> oh my god, Billy got shanked! Did you see that? Holy crap, bye! Stop by any time, Steven. Now nah, Billy got killed. Billy! Billy, are you dead? Billy, I'm sorry. Jesus. It's- honestly, I don't like horror movies or like horror games, but this is like so weird and dumb that you can kind of- you can laugh at it as long as you are determined to do so. How do you exit here? Someone just broke a window. Where's the egg? Oh. Oh. The meat plant. I have not wanted to come here. But we might as well end off on a good note. Oh, kitties. It looks gross, and it's probably gonna be gross inside. There's a lot of cats here. Holy crap. Uh-oh. Well, we gotta do it. There's that parade music again. Oh my goodness me! Gross! Hi, cats! You alright? Whatever's in these barrels smells incredibly bad. Oh my- their cats are just hanging out. Oh no. Hi. The carcasses of several small animals. Are we sure that they're animals and not people? I'm thinking they're eating them damn hobos that came through here. Steve, how's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks, and when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. Oh. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the <laughs> business in your dad's Jeremy office. Clarkson? Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your We don't know what's Adam wrong Riley? with our dad yet. He's behind a locked door. Family business. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. Oh. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. Ugh. What was that shit? Well, someone had diarrhea all over a the damn times, floor. When I'm finished scrubbing up and digging Ew. bits of intestine out from my fingernails. I must confess, I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So don't when worry you can about do that this cat. all He's day just and help yourself to a okay. juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. It's people, isn't it? Is they eating people? Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? Dad's illness. What exactly is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. You should be thinking Don't worry about, about the, the kitty, he's just sleeping. That, getting Hang into on. the lodge. Hang on, I fix. I fix it. Whoop. Fix everything else. Uh. Okay. Here we go. It's alright. I fix. Don't worry, he okay. He's just sleeping. Uh. Amnesia. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were such a kidder, Steve. The taco is here Funny to help. It's beginning to sound like a stock answer. Like it was coached. You sure are acting like a kidder, He son. said the line! With your dad ill, you're gonna need to start uh. behaving like an adult. Especially if you're gonna take over the family business. I think we already asked about family business? Cats. What's with all the cats? This is this a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Yeah, but look at them. 
Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? I don't know. How much is the health department paying? <laughs> Maybe I will. You seem defensive. Wonder why. That's good to know. Your father will be very happy if I he recovers. I didn't say that. I didn't want My him to kill me. My point was only, you shouldn't allow animals in the food processing area, right? We don't let them get into the meat. That's unsanitary. And the health department wouldn't stand for it. There's things you don't know about the family business, but you'll learn. Okay. Uh, meat. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about. Shiva, Steve. thank you for and the bit. And we bits. only carry the finest meat, only the juiciest cuts. Oh, that was a big fly. Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance oh, of the quality. Oh, that poop again on the floor! Stop cost. pooping on the damn floor, please! It's disgusting. If we didn't, would the lodge use us use to the cater bathroom. their affairs? Could I have some meat to take home? Your father's very particular about the profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Cutting costs. There are certain tricks of the trade, Steve. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do <laughs> things. If you're creative. They keep using the same thing over and over. Bye! Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. Holy crap, now what? Alright, um... I have to go soon. But, let's see. Oh yeah, now we can move you right. Now the taco can go away. He, he has served his purpose. And we thank him. Oh, he's alone. Guess what? Hang on. Let me let me save it in case something something goes wrong. It's time for prawn. Kamaru Nagi? <laughs> More like Kamaru Nagi. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Emmy Powered Hero Chat, for the bits. Ah, at least he didn't talk about beating the meat. Oh wait, speaking of which, I think that's about to happen right now. We have an adult magazine. We'll give it to him. Oh, oh, by George. <laughs> oh, by Jiminy. Oh, this here's the real thing. <laughs> oh, can I have it? Sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you, Steve. <laughs> Excuse me, kiddo. I gotta go check the jail for... Clean tiles. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, but while he's gone, let's look at all the stuff. Right? Drawer's unlocked. What's in here? A checkbook. Sheriff Dwayne's checkbook. A barely legible note. Okay. Key to the evidence room. Uh, is there anything else in here? Uh... I don't think so. I think there's another drawer we can open, too. No? Uh... Ain't there a screwdriver in here somewhere? Or am I crazy? Oh, no, no, never mind. I know where the screwdriver is. It's not in here. Okay, so now that we have the key um, to the evidence room, we can open it. Well, that didn't work. Oh, wrong door. Oh my god. Not surprisingly, Loomis has tainted this evidence. Ew! Gross! Oh my goodness me. Alright, uh... What we got in here? He did not like green eggs and ham, so they killed him. A pair of bloody sneakers. Oh, we'll take that for the kid that well, wanted that them. that didn't work. Ah, oh, Santa hat! 
The vital clue in the mysterious jolly fat man murder spree. Dartboard. A gas can. Yeah, we're going to take that. A camera. Insta shot camera, just point and click. Yeah, we're going to take that too. A shaving kit. A bear. A fuzzy bear wielding a chainsaw. <gasps> it's five knots of Freddy's. That's what it eats. Uh, I think that's everything we need in here. Scale airplane, an engine. A piece of toast. The most improbable of all murder weapons, toast. What the fuck? Padlock. Cabinets are empty. More unsolved cases. Okay, so what was that thing we got in the, in the, in the drawer? Uh oh. Hello, Steve. Oh, I'm, where's Loomis? I'm somehow out here now. Loomis, damn you. Wait, no, 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 you no. <laughs> uh, no. no. <laughs> Ew, he was jerking it in there. Sheriff, if you think I'm going to keep paying this forever, you are crazy. There are limits. Boyle. That's the postmaster. Are we going to be in trouble if we come out of here now? I hope not. Oh, no, we're okay. For some reason, that just plays, and then we're totally fine. All right, let's walk over here. I didn't do that. I don't know who opened the door. It wasn't me. Okay, so what was the... The next thing we got was the checkbook. Deposit, boil, deposit, boil. Oh, it's all this... Oh, he's blackmailing him. Clearly, it's, he's paying for silence. I bet you the postmaster burned that shit down. The sentinel. We found his butt in there too, didn't we? So I, I bet you that's what that is. All right. Um, if we go back over to... I think there's something in here I need to get. There's like a drawer over here that's really hard to see, and I totally forgot that it was here. Screwdriver. We can take it. Anything else? Nope. Nope. Hi, how are you? Let's save here. Uh, because I think I have to go, unfortunately. But before I go, let's go look at the lodge, right? Because that's the last place we haven't gone to yet. And remind me to save again before we go. Do we have a raid message? I think the lodge is the last place we haven't been. So let's go to the lodge. Oh my god. What the fuck is happening here? This is the place I want to join? Red eyes gleam with eerie malevolence from the darkness. You're such a kidder. Ah, uh, we should, yeah, we should totally do that. Alarming green sludge oozes from the drain. Ew. Who the hell is. The fuck? Initiates may enter the hall of the order of the harvest moon. Whoa! Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind touched yours. What the fuck? Telepathy. But how? Only those who seek. Is that Doctor Claw from Inspector Catch? <laughs> Do you hunger for true knowledge? What the fuck? Steve, do you like my Jawa cosplay? What the fuck is this? What kind of knowledge? Forbidden knowledge of forgotten pleasures and pleasures as yet undiscovered. <laughs> but such is not for the likes of you. Not yet. You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Okay. Okay, can I have an application? Applications are available at the Office. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them 
to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Oh, Can I just man. fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Okay. All right. Perfect. Well, I feel good about this already. Holy crap. All right. Um. Well, I guess the postmaster would be the next person we'd want to talk to then, because I think we might be able to sway him with some of the evidence we have also. But we have to go. Oh, no. Guys, I hope you had fun. We're going to play this, um, un I guess, until it's finished because it's spoopy. Like I said, the end of this game is really hard and really unfair and really gory. I may need to call John in to help with that a little bit, depending on. But for now, as far as the point and click adventure and puzzles, we're going to be doing that on our own. So um, I hope you guys like this so far. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The end is really unfair. We're going to... Oh, Steve is bored. But thanks for checking it out with me. Again, I wanted to show this off because not a lot of people know this game exists. It's it's real shit. Um, but thanks for hanging out. If you followed today or if you just came in to see Harvester, I hope you'll stick around. I hope you'll come back for the next one. We usually do it every Tuesday and Thursday around 3 o'clock Mountain Time we start. Sometimes we'll go on a different day, but if that happens, I'll let everybody know on Twitter so you can follow me there or on the Discord, which you can join if you sub for the first time today or what if you got a fit? gift sub. So thank you so much for that. Anonymous has gifted subs to Ice Shark Wolf, Super Steph, Sabri Eye, Stayful Jackal, and I Not a Name. What thank doesn't you so fit? much, Anonymous. Thank you. Oh my gosh. And um, yeah, we do a lot of retro games here, and we do we really just do everything. We have a lot of variety here. What doesn't? Fit? I hope that you guys will come back. And thank you so much for all the subs and gift subs. If anyone gave bits or donations, you're crazy. It's never ever mandatory, but thank you so so much. It's so appreciated. What doesn't fit? Remember to come join our Discord if you're a sub. We would love to have you. It's a very friendly place. We watch movies together. We watch old shows like Knight Rider and The Price is what Right from the fit? 80s and 90s. And and we ship post and we talk about LPs and, and Twitch and every other thing. Come on over. It's fun. We have a Final Fantasy 14 community if you play that. And um, thank you to Silver Kaze Ninja earlier for the raid. Um, is it going to be your such a kidder? I think that's probably what it should be. So hashtag. I have to, I have to go out. Hashtag your, don't put the thing in there because it might not work. You're such a kidder. The meats? We're not doing the meats. That's disgusting. You're such a kidder. Use that and then let's see who we can find um, to raid with this amazing message. <laughs> God. I wonder if people are going to know what it is. Let's find out. All right. Who is on right now? Hey. Let's see. Oh, quite a few people on right now, actually. Ba -da 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 -boo. Oh, let's see. It's Byakuya. It's Byakuya. Who's that? Ah, UK1Y0. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Welcome to Luca Troopers. We're so glad to have you. Thank you. Let's get. You're such a kidder. Ooh. <gasps> oh, Gerard's on. Don't tell him we're coming. Oh, he's playing Kingdom Hearts 2.5 critical mode. Oh my god, he's crazy. Holy crap, he's insane. Oh, it sounds like he's. <laughs> I have an ad. It, so it sounds like he's not doing well. I heard the alarm. Um, let's go get him. Because uh, Gerard's the best. Let me make sure I spelled it right. All right. Let's go get Gerard with your such kid as soon as my ad ends. Ugh, Twitch. Come on. I'm a partner. Don't give me these damn ads. I'm just kidding. It's fine. 
All right, here we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's really concentrating, so do your best. There we go. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Have a great weekend if I don't talk to you before that. Good night, everyone. Go tell Gerard we love him. Give him some... Give him some praise and some good feelings because critical mode in this game is ridiculous. He's crazy. I love you guys. Bye.